Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we are going to be continuing our Near Automata playthrough. Last time, we uh, decimated the Forest Kingdom. Uh, discovered the existence of A2, I believe. Not two-factor authentication, lady. Just A2. Making me continue, continuously forgetting whether or not, like, different models have, like, the number before or after the letter. Because brain is bleh. But... Right now, we can either go supply, like, help the resistance supply missiles, I believe. That's what the quest is. Support the uh, missile supply mission. But uh, we'll probably go check out Anemone's Past, however you say that. Uh, see if uh, Ingol wants to talk, chat anymore. Maybe see about doing another race of Speed Star. He'll probably kick my ass unless I just... Then again, I guess I could just use one of my chip slots to throw all of my speed and dodge distance chips to cheese it. Uh, then we can also check out whatever this is. Hopefully it's not something bad that happened to the animal guy, but I don't think so. I think it's, well, maybe. It's kind of in that area. No, because he's more over here. This is a different little side place, so hopefully not. And uh, we'll also be keeping an eye on our investments to see about sending a hundred thousand dollary dues to the halfwit inventor. Considering I don't really need to buy too much right now, but at the same time, I'll probably save before I do that just to see what happens and see if it's worth keeping or, like, completing later. Then, like, maybe we can try the parade escort. Maybe. I think. Like, it's been a bit since we did that. but So, yeah. I also made a combat-centric set B, even though it looks like it does less damage. It has, like, a, a bunch more stuff tailored for combat, while this is just a generalist thing. And then we'll probably set this up to be our race one. In fact, while I'm here, I might as well set it up. It's just going to be throwing all the dodge distance and speed in. And then hopefully he won't try to kill us. But yeah, I threw like a bunch of anti-chain damage onto type B, my B side. Let's see. Offensive heal, deadly heal, auto heal. Because of evade range, movement speed. Just have that be our, our race one. All the dodges. <clears throat> yeah, while I was doing my like a chip setting, just so I could. I very much appreciate now the fact that I'm playing with controller and not keyboard and mouse because this was not made for keyboard and mouse. Uh, unless there's a setting you can change, the only way to dodge is to double tap your movement keys, which is just not something that's all that viable for the most part. Like, I guess it's viable, but it's not, it's not nice. Hey, anything to say, Ingles? Thank you for visiting me previously. How are you? I am, as one says, trucking along. Does one actually say that? It's hard to it's hard to pay attention to like like the name changing because he's constantly moving his mouth. So I'm just like, "Oh, he's continuing to talk." Nope. Maybe it's because I'm going too fast with the text, who knows. But his mouth is always moving. I have been reading through humanity's records to keep myself occupied. This has led me to a question. Shoot. 
What is night? Night? You must mean the cyclical cycle of light and dark that used to exist. It doesn't exist anymore, H Emil? Not now! The records mentioned that, did they? Also, what do you mean that the... The, the planet isn't turning? Is it... But... How? The, okay... Night doesn't exist, I guess. We're on the other side of the world. Are we going to go to the dark side of the Earth at some point? That would be neat. Uh, you must mean the cyclical cycle of light and dark that used to exist. The records mentioned that, did they? The records mentioned that, did they? Also, cyclical cycle. I don't know. That just seems like bad writing. Yes, the cycle is cyclical. Would you like a round sphere? The sun never leaves the sky anymore, but apparently it used to descend below the horizon for hours at a time. When that happened, it was like looking out, uh, out of one of the bunker's windows. I didn't know that. I would like to see stars sometime. Well, hopefully we can get you to see stars at some point. But yeah, my different chipsets are primarily for this is like general like combat and general like moving around it has like the fishing spot notifier and everything whereas my combat one like removes my mini map and stuff and goes full on in for just like combat enhancers like defense healing and stuff. So if I'm like in a dedicated fighting area, I can swap to it. Whereas just small little encounters I don't need to worry about. And I guess I'll go ahead and swap to my super duper speed up. Not sure how much it'll help. But he was right on our tail before. Hello, hello, hello! Ready to challenge me again? Wonderful, I knew you couldn't resist the thrill of the chase that moment I laid eyes on you! Now let's have a race and we'll make our very souls quiver with delight. Yes, let's quiver. An excellent response! Here we go, the second speed championship. All right, it's on the tree, so I'm gonna have to... Ooh. It's time to race your way into tomorrow today. Two, one, go. Hmm. No idea how I'm going to really get over there. How? <laughs> Why now, actually? Hey, we got here. Oh, damn, you were close. Not bad, you're getting closer to becoming a true speedster. Keep it up, I want us to grow ever faster together. I'll be here whenever you're ready to try me again. It's hard to tell, like, how well I'm doing against that guy, because he's always just behind me. Now, let's see. There's that. We could maybe fight, the, like, a Master Father Servo again, but I'm fairly certain that he'd kick our ass. So, I think we're gonna check out... Mm, actually, I think we're gonna go over here, see whatever this is. Then we'll go check out Anemone's past. Then probably, depending, we'll check how much money I have. Well, actually, if that's what it's going to be. We'll do Anemone's past. Come over here, do that. Check and see how much money we have. I keep forgetting that you're, like, deep underground. And, yeah, Anemone's past. Check out the forest thing. Then go and see if we if we have enough money. Finish the half-wit inventor, although after saving, in case it's not worth it. 
I think we'll save off Parade Escort for a little bit longer. I don't think we're strong enough to do the trial yet, so we'll probably then uh, do the missile supply. So, yes. From my YouTube chat, hello, hello. We are playing more. Near Automata. And DeMille is just forever haunting me when I go to talk to Ingles, apparently. He always shows up. Without fail. You know, I have no question how these guys, like, created their bulletproof shields. If they're just shields made of metal, and they're made of metal, why... <laughs> what kind of metal are they using for themselves that makes my bullets effective against them, but not their shields? Who knows? It's a very special metal. Or it could just be that ultra-thick metal isn't conducive to being used for machine life forms for functionality purposes. Could be the bullets are able to hit weak spots, joints and stuff. So having just a solid slab of metal allows them to just work better. Oh, Emil. Hello there. I'm kind of bored out of my mind over here, so how about swinging by the store? I got some pretty good stuff on hand, or probably. Hilariously. Hmm. We'll check it out. If, maybe we'll check out what Emil has on our way back. But we're checking out Anemone's Past. Are we finally going to be able to use the elevators? Or will there just be something there? Will A2 just appear and be like, ah, you have activated the quest to find me. Let us see. Well, you're new. That's A2's handiwork, I bet. But I'm not picking up any sign of oh, A2 yeah, cause... herself. Huh? What in the world? The item behind them. Well, but yeah, because last time they were saying, like, oh, we're the only combat units or, like, out here doing combat, so we should be able to follow trace energy trails. Pod, help oh, me out data here. chip A. Analysis. It is believed to be a data log related to Yorha Unit A2. What's the data? The data log has been irreparably damaged. Huh. Further analysis is impossible. I wonder if Pod is lying to us. Why do a bunch of machines have A2's data? A2B? Hmm. I'm picking up other reactions. We should check them out. Actually, that is a good question. Why would these machine life forms have A2's data, and then why would she be killing them? Well, maybe, like, she was kidnapped and she was used to upgrade the them, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, did you actually read up on my comments from last stream? No, because I don't want any lore spoilers. Like, even if it's not something revealed in the game, we don't know anything about A2, so any additional information is spoilers to me. And I do not want it to be spoiled. I wonder if we're going to run into any combat monsters. Ah, like a... Speak of the devil. Although I now wonder, why is A2 obliterating fools in here? Unless there's, like, specificity... Like, chip reasons. I guess if that one back there had a chip with A2 data, I guess... Could mean that others are in here, too. I was picking up a body, how dare you. Also, why are these guys just in these, like, cargo containers? With shields just waiting for an ambush. I guess they're still plugged into the network. But still. Now that makes me wonder how the network functions. Are Adam and Eve at the forefront dictating these actions? Are these automated bots? And then there's also the other things like... There are, seem to be bots that are like... Trying to think of my words, because there's like bots that are 
unconnected from the network. But then there's also ones that chose to disconnect. So there's ones that were, like, before the Goliath bots attacked, they were, like, just wandering around docile but nothing more. And then there was Pascal's village, ones that intentionally disconnected. And then after the... Goliaths attacked the city, the ones that were, like, docile before started to be attacky. Data chip B. I wonder if it has anything to say. Is this a, probably a key item? Containing a data log on A2. Heavily damaged. There's little that can be analyzed. Interesting. We're gonna have to collect the entire alphabet. Chip A through Z. Again, I find it amusing that, like, these dead bodies always spawn in, like, the same locations. Let's see if we can tell if we should use the... Hmm. I think I'll just go through back normally. Because that'll be the most efficient way, probably. Also, I find it funny that, like, we attacked this place because it was, like, a factory. And, like, we did take out, like, some Goliath-class dudes, but... Otherwise, this place is still functional. Still UFOs dancing about. We could try to destroy them. But no, Yorha didn't, like, send a cleanup crew to fully disable this place or just have us do it. Eh. Don't think I found this one before. I'll have to remember that this is a thing to come back to. Be gone, shield bearer. I keep forgetting that I also have, like, the... The bullet, like, no, you shall not hit me. Add-on that I should use one of these times. Gather up the items. I do find it funny that it seems to prioritize the dead bodies before item pickup and chip D. <laughs> At this rate, it is going to be like a full alphabet of chips. We'll have all of them. A, f a full unknown of chips. I still really like the increased drop rate chips. They're very nice. Make it feel like I'm getting a lot of resources. Even though I'm, like, past the point where most of these resources are good. But I just... M okay, I apparently missed a chest here. It was just off in the shadows. Waiting for me. want to make sure they didn't swap out that random one with a actual chip. Would have been funny. I do believe that we are invaded. You know, it'd be kind of funny and sad if my first real death came at the hands of low-level stubbies. Because I don't think I've died died yet. I did lose to the Second trial in the sands. But I'm not sure. Oh, hey. Desire without emotion. At least 100,000 G in possession. Huzzah. The half witted Venter will get his stimulus check soon. After I pick up all these items and do all those other quests. And of course, we're still gonna save before giving it to him because it could be a big old joke. 
Although it'd be borderline hilarious if they updated all your saves beforehand. Like, no, you must commit. <laughs> you chose to give him money. You cannot take it away. Let's see. It's probably around here somewhere. Ah, there's the dead body. Okay. Oh. I think that's the last of the data chips. It's all of them. Odd. Analyze and collate the information from those chips. Analysis complete. That was fast. That contains information about your high unit A2. And what is that? Collating with data from other chips. Stand by. Collation complete. The contained data is a debriefing report for the Pearl Harbor descent undertaken during the 14th Machine War. What? No kidding. That operation was carried out by the Yorha generation that came before us, right? Anyway, mission complete, I suppose. Let's get back to the resistance camp. Uh, you gonna attack me? They are gonna attack me! I was wondering what the hell? They were just standing there. Interesting. <laughs> Out of nowhere, new enemies spawn, unless I went in the wrong door, but I don't think I did. What the hell? No! Demon? Ha! Huh. Oh, apparently I'm at broken key capacity. So I'll need to go... Alright. And rusted clump capacity. I'll quickly check and see what the capacity is and start selling excess things. Apparently a body... Appeared where body was before. Okay. Weird. Okay, rusted clump and broken keys, I believe, are materials. So yeah, 99 is maximum. So we'll probably... Don't know. Could stop by the resistance camp. And sell them. Or, no, we could head over to Pascal's village, sell them, do the half-wit inventor, then go to the forest. That could work. That way I can sell the items. See what it is the half-wit inventor doth be. Again, it would be... I don't know which way the half-wit inventor will go. You know what? I'm gonna just... Tr or are we locked in? We are locked in with you. Interesting. But, like, I come here doing a quest. The game decides. And now, new enemies! Interesting choice. I gotta say! Another reason why Yorha should have actually obliterated this place. Another weapon attack. It would be hilarious if we left and there was just a Titan class waiting for us, you fool. I'm here to kill you. Off we go. We can also... Ah, maybe if a meal is out and about, we can shoot him down. See what he has. He sent an email. Which is funny, because... I don't think we bought anything from him. But... We did visit his store once before. Maybe that's just to be like, hey, new stuff, maybe. I do find it funny that Ingle is just there, hanging out. <laughs> After we beat him up, he's like, eh, no, I shall enjoy retirement. 
You know, aside from Adam and Eve, all the other machine life forms seem pretty chill. Let's see, where is a mill? No, oh, actually, where is he? A mill? Maybe if we go talk to Ingle, he'll show up. Honestly, that's entirely possible. Because I'm glancing around. I do not see a mill anywhere. He, s he sends out a solicitation email? And then decides to fuck off? The rudest email-to-email -email salesman there ever does was. Anything else, Ingles? What's going on? You seem pretty low, even by machine standards. My lifespan's expiration period is drawing to a close. Are you asking us to repair you? Because that's a pretty selfish request. No, do not repair me. Huh? I have been thinking about something. Do you remember when you spoke of sin? You were right to call it so. I killed many of your kind. Killed androids beyond counting. Got points for killing androids with beyond counting. It meant nothing while I was connected to the network. But now I understand. I know the anguish it has caused you. I must atone. You know, I figured Emil would show up by now to interrupt this moment. Wait, are you? My existence is ending. I am dying. Please take my parts and use them elsewhere. Farewell, androids. Well, that's actually pretty sad. Ah! Max HP chip and a... F those are really good. And I guess last... Wow. Diddly D. It just chose death. We're no different. Huh? I mean, also, we d did start the game blowing up. Machines beyond counting. Perhaps someone sees that as a sin. To be. Getting all philosophical up in here. And I primarily went to talk to him just because I thought a mill would show up. And now we lost Ingle. Huh. That's actually kind of sad. We repaired him, we got some data. I guess. The last of Ingle's memories. Or at least... Well, maybe. It seems to be a jump. Ah, yes, it is a whole thing. As I can no longer move, I have nothing to do. Perhaps I will try writing what is called a journal. Where did machine life forms come from? We repeat a process of self-proliferation and repair. Am I my own existence? Or do we all encompass one sole existence? The aliens are creators are beings that conquer worlds and stars. Their behavior is exceedingly simple. They share one objective, and as such, there is never conflict between them. But what about machine life forms? What about us? Rain is falling. A bird stopped on my shoulder. I never tire of looking at life on this planet, I will make my record of this bird protected data so I do not lose it. Damn it, we lost the the, 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 the near automata version of Android 16. Which is hilarious because he was a robot. In both versions. Well, actually, no, Android 16 was the closest thing to an actual android. Huh. And again, just a mill was nowhere. Sent an email and just buggered off. Weird. First things first, we're definitely going to stop by the trader. 
sell all these things. And I have things for you. Just gotta find the, like anything that's at number 99, I guess. And copper ore. We can sell like 20. And you will sell like 40. So I don't think we'll need that many. See if there's anything else close to 90. I doubt it. Well, crystal, kind of. We'll sell like nine. And nothing else, I don't think. And we'll keep the mackerel as a diddly D. Well, first things first, grab the item. We found more data from A2. Take a look. That's... it's number two. It really is her. You know her? Yorha unit number two. She's an older model, but the same type as you. Hmm. Same type. So like a... I wonder what she means by that same type as you, because... There are different models, the operators, scanners, battle, defense. And, uh... I don't think she's referring... Then again, maybe 2B is special. A2, 2B. We work together. The Pearl Harbor drop? Yes. The operation itself was a success, but the Yorha fighters were completely wiped out. Their commander was number 2, A2. Have you met her? Do you know where she is? Actually, we have orders from the bunker to... destroy her. What? She's a deserter. She also wiped out an entire team that was sent to bring her back. A2? No. I'm sorry, I... Let's go, 9S. <laughs> Did we just turn the entire resistance... I wonder what that was all about. ...against us? Something must well, have been against your heart. And A2. Some things just aren't easy to talk about. Especially for a soldier who's been fighting that long. I guess so. 9S, you... Huh? You might understand yourself someday. Right. I'm not gonna end up fighting 9S, am I? Don't know what under what context, but... Could be. Well, now, we're, I guess we'll take a quick scan, see if a mill's popped up anywhere. Nah, he's just gone. Maybe I should have saved some of the memory tears flower things. To summon him. Because he's just gone. Yeah. Oh, we got mail. Mail notification received from access point. Then I guess we can access that access point email when we get to Pascal's village after seeing whatever's past the mall in the forest. Be gone, Satan. I do wonder who built this, though. This seems very crude. I wonder if this was made by maybe the Forest Kingdom? I keep forgetting that you now spawn here. Very slammy, spinny manny. Prepare to die. He didn't even get into that many attacks off. Huzzah. My power is growing. It, it grew right there. Beyond count. I still wonder why Emil was in a robot head. Because he, like, took up the entire space. There was nothing left. Ah, I guess it's just, hey, this exists now. This forest branch just opened up for business today. Feel free to swing by if there's anything you need. Got anything special? Guess we can buy some large recoveries. 
Some small recoveries just because we can. Hey, I know this is a bit out of left field, but you look like someone who cares very deeply about gastronomy. However you say that, that seems like a weird word. See, I'm doing research about food for whenever the human race decides to return to Earth. Those humans were always going on about eating, right? Well, also clothing and shelter, but mostly eating. Anyway, I'm collecting ingredients from across the land for research purposes. And I'm betting you'd like to help me out, uh, right? Sure. Thanks a million. So meat's at the top of the list, naturally, which means I need you to head out and find both moose and boar meat. Both as in either or? Who knows? Well, there's like some moose and bore this way. Since androids generate energy from water, what purpose does the resistance have with animal protein? Don't ask me. Did not know that we were primarily powered by water. I guess not the worst thing to power. Now we just gotta kill some moose and beasts. Which is kinda sad because they're just always here now, waiting for us. To use as a mount. I do wonder why, though. Like, that's a neat mechanic, but... What specifically, what specific purpose... Does it have, I wonder? Oh, that's it? It doesn't actually need... Multiple? So it was just either or. Let's see. Nope, it needs actually boar meat. Interesting that there's actually a difference. Ah, there we are. Luckily, they are both here. Unless this, one, this one's just immortal. There we go. That should be enough deer and boar meat. Let's get it back to the trader. I would hope so. Those are huge. If that's not enough meat from either beast, then he's just wasteful. Then again, he's an android and probably doesn't know much about food, which is why he's researching it. Then again, also, the robot guy in the forest who made all the animal friends. Let's see. I was going to do something. I'm going to save. Definitely. Quick save. Oh, yeah, and there's also another message. <laughs> now you're just sending all of them. Hey, friend, thanks for stopping by. Well, we didn't, at least not since the last email. You into fishing at all? For a while, I ate whatever I could to get my hands on just to survive. So I actually know a fair bit about the art of angling, so today I decided to let you in on some juicy info. So different areas have different fishing spots. As a rule, you're usually going to find freshwater fish in rivers and saltwater fish in the sea. Oh, and you can also catch things like starfish or horseshoe crabs in shoals. But if you're looking for a huge catch, you'll need to aim for the deepest depths. The ponds of boiling oil in the desert are usually filled with machine fish. Why would anyone make machine fish? And most of what you'll find in pipes buried across the world is plain old garbage. But if you keep at it, you might just pull up something good. And finally, if you're looking for rare fish, there's some more exotic fish that you, that you can shake a stick at at subterranean lake near where I live. That's just a quick zip and zoom away from the city ruins. Well, that's it, I think. Later. I wonder what, like, flags there are for him to be like, you stopped by, you didn't stop by, I sent an email. But now we're going to see the half-wit inventor. And see what he does with our hundred thousand dollars. Either it's gonna be a funny aha joke that he wasted it all, or it's actually gonna be super good. 
Mind you, we're talking the meager amount of a hundred thousand G. Why, you can find that rolling about in the bottom of any beggar's cup. Not really, but we'll give it to him anyway. Are you certain? Then the time has come. Time for the foremost genius of his generation to perfect the greatest invention of the age! Right then, off to work! I just know I can make this happen! He creates uh, one week later. It is finally complete, the greatest invention of this or any age! Or it was meant to be, sadly I failed. It was meant to be a launch tower for sending rockets to the very moon itself! How did you build that in a week? And while the craft it launched did soar into the lofty darkness of outer space, it regrettably did not reach the moon. Instead, it landed on Mars. It's all so damnably frustrating. I am the world's foremost genius, after all. Never before have I sipped the bitter brew of defeat. You know what? The fact that that was built... Like, I wonder, kid... Does that actually exist in the world now? That'd be hilarious if it actually does. Yeah, that's just the diddly D. But hey. You know what? I think I'll let it stay. It's 100,000 G's down, but... It's neat. No idea why he wanted to launch something to the moon. But very impressive that he got something to land on Mars. Because that means it would have to be going faster than light by my calculations. <laughs> but the fact that they actually, like, had him build a thing and it's there in the world somewhere, I'm gonna let it stay. 100,000 gone, but I'm gonna let it stay. Especially because he made it just with money. He... Where did he get all the materials? Madman. Now let's see. There is the escort, but I don't wish to risk it just yet. Oh, we can go do that, I guess. Turn this in. See what other things he wants us to collect. Wait, after, like, the, like, uh, animal hide, there hasn't been much of a need for killing animals. So it's kind of interesting that this late-ish feeling into the game, they decide, now we're gonna throw in a quest. After I sold all of my, all the meat that I ganged by killing the beasts for their hide earlier. Because I think I needed it for upgrading my weapons in the early stages. But again, I just find it hilarious that, like, all the androids pretty much look like human. So I just thought, oh, these are just human. They're the resistance. Nope, they're androids. Still haven't thought of a reason of why there's, like, a difference between resistance androids and Yorha androids. Probably some conspiracy reason. Okay, let's see. Moose meat, boar meat, yes, that's everything. I'll tell you what, you fry this up with a little salt and pepper, bam, taste explosion. Or allegedly, the last time I ate anything, it killed me. It was a fish. Have you tried it yourself? It's actually pretty popular among resistance combat models. Not that it has much of an effect. Humans were so amazing, weren't they? Just their cooking knowledge alone is enough to blow my mind. What do you think it'll happen to us androids once they finally come back? I mean, we're built to fight, and if we don't need to do that... Ah, forget it. We've all got our own work to do, right? I'm gonna keep up with the food research for as long as I can. Marine life has returned in force to the oceans and rivers, after all. So when the humans return, I'll make sure to greet them with a glorious feast. See you around! At least he didn't ask f for me to fish, because I'm bad at fishing. Then again, I haven't done much fishing, but I'm bad at it. I 
because now I think it's mostly just Father Servo, Ray Sky, Parade, and a bunch of quests that we can't get to, as well as like the Trial in the Desert, which I don't think I'm good for yet. So we're going on with the Missile Supply, part of the main quest. I just hope that the ending doesn't just leap out at us. I would like a fair warning so I can go do the remaining quests. Although I guess that's what saving is for. You save so that you can go back and do things. Although it would be kind of funny if it just felt like a normal encounter and then the credits just rolled. Although I'm reminded, I should make multitude of saves in case wacky things happen, so save over that. So then I have backups in case things go bad. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the drill guys are going to respawn, aren't they? Well, at least if my understanding a bit, hopefully I'll be able to smack them up a bit better. Also, why would missiles need to be supplied down in the holes? Oh, you're not a missile or a, a drill guy. Thank you. Well, oh, another one. There's the drill. Okay, a lot of them has appeared. Why do they have drill apparatuses if they just fly through the sky? So they lured me in with their non-drill brethren. Now the wicky wacky woo wah yeah is out to murder me. I would love to see like a speedrunner take these things on. Like, how does a speedrunner take these things out? So I'm probably just doing things inefficiently. Like, at least probably. Guy's in slinky mode, so a bit difficult to kill. And now they're all in slinky mode. Even my camera can't really keep up with it. And I'm on lock on mode. Darn it. Please die already. It also doesn't help that they go so fast, I can hardly even see their health bars. I think the slinky orientation is the worst, because it just can't even hit them. At least the drill ones that are always on me, I can hit, <laughs> even if I take damage. Please die. I could probably leave you. And another one seems to have spawned. What is this game's obsession with this terrible enemy? Like, I don't know. It either needs to slow. There, it fi one finally died. Except they're all in slinky mode. Maybe I need to change to this. Yeah, because lock-on's bad, so. Like, I don't know. Just like, it just seems oddly designed. For an enemy to fight. Finally. I don't even know if I could have... Like, I don't know how they function. They probably take chip damage. But they're just weird. If 
but I do believe that it is down here. Oh wait, actually, no, it's up, actually, for missile deployment. But considering that we're probably gonna run into more of the bouncy slinky worms, probably a good idea to get experience with them. Why are some machines so aggressive while others couldn't care less about us? Could be the reach of the network, as I theorize. Because some of the robots, like many of the robots... Well, I did... The camera went crazy. Because I jumped it through the wrong part. Oh. <laughs> through the pipes, I guess. Didn't expect there to be a pipe entrance. I wonder if this would be counted as a river for fishing purposes. Ah, chest. I knew there would be something down one of these holes. For a moment, I thought I saw something hanging from the ceiling. It's just the glittering of my light, probably reflecting off the river. One of these places is going to house a surprise enemy. Just have to kill me. Oh, hey, pearl! Oh, wait, no, I need black pearls to upgrade the other Yorha blade that 6 0 gave me. Leave that vending machine alone. Interesting. I wonder if I could have come here whenever. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Quick save. Where are we? I guess we're... Oh, we're, we're over here now. How'd the wandering couple get here? So yeah, I guess I could have come here whenever. I did not know that this was just a place that we could come. Which means also, uh, the other mysterious letter. This is probably, hmm. Considering that we could probably have come here whenever, we'll have to wait and see. Because this will probably be another, like, trial area. Where is all that water coming from? But hey, flooded city. Mm. So this is just fully a new area. Similar to the Forest Kingdom. Very interesting. Nope, can't get up there. Wanted to try just in case. But I don't think falling into the water would do good. It would probably be bad. Hmm. I also don't know, like, if the mysterious letter <laughs> trial, well, presumable trial, if it'll be, like, level adequate for me. I mean, even the one in the desert isn't, really. What the hell? I don't even know how I did that. I think I, like, dash flung myself of my pod. Interesting. So yeah, if you... I have no idea how I did it. I did it twice. And now I just don't know. Also, the wandering couple disappeared. Because it was over here. And now it's gone. It 
it's like after we activated. Oh wait, is that just a just a dead body? Not an important body, just a dead dead, dead body. Not every live viewer needs to throw their lot into chat. I don't mind lurkers. People who just listen or just want to enjoy it like it's a video. Lurkers are always valid. In the last war. Looks like the whole city is starting to sink as a result. The last war? I thought this was one ongoing war. This definitely feels precarious. Shoot my missiles. Just allow them to slowly get blasted away. Although I should probably lure them on. So that if they drop items, it'll drop actually in a place where I can get them. And they all fell into the sea. A new sunken treasure of the flooded city. I do find it funny that missile pod was just out in the desert. Abandoned by someone. And at least we're at a good level where we can just stand by and let him die. That's gonna wake up and be a monster that we need to... F oh, the, the, no, those are missiles! Like, full-on missiles. Oh, hey, we can even see the thing that the scientists built all the way out there. God, that's a tall tower. Ah, from Twitch chat, howdy. How are we doing today? I'm doing good. We funded the scientist. He built a giant launch facility and sent things to Mars. And that's how Doom happens. And from my Twitch chat, are you having fun so far? I am. This game is very, very fun. Weird in places. I still do not understand. <laughs> I do, still do not understand. Like, the aliens actually existing, but hey. <laughs> so these are the missile platforms, presumably. So, I'll need to look for the Emil's tier. How is Emil going to be out here? It's all water. He'll die. Then again, I'm not dead. Yet. Because I don't think we're meant to be fully submerged. I wonder, can we go in? We can go in. Except kind of not. <laughs> we making Doom Cannon. That would actually... <laughs> throw that into... Yahtzee's, like, uh... Sh like, ultimate... Game... World... From his newest semi lamp ramblomatic. Hmm, but how do I get to the get to you? That's very far away. Probably because uh, I actually have no idea. We're probably gonna be getting up there, presumably, to be able to jump down because there's a chest there. Unless I can, like I don't know. I haven't I haven't been expecting parkour. In this game all that much. I, like, maybe if I jump... Like, jump... Jump, dash, glide, I could maybe get to it? But then I could also maybe die. And, uh... I guess I could always just go back and quick save. Do a bit of save scumming. Because I have no idea how we're supposed to get there. It's just for a chest, but who knows? That could have a weapon. Like the Dragoon Lance. Because 
Because, like, that looks like... It, it entirely depends, because that could maybe be jumpable, but I highly doubt it. Probably invisible wall. So we're going to come over here. Do a quick save. <laughs> yeah, the designs of the Yorha androids are interesting. Like, why do they all have white hair? And why, like, most of the Yorha androids seem to have, like, battle suits. Whereas, like, 2B is a maid and 9S is a twink. So it's just like, somebody's playing favorites. Nope, there's no way we can make it. <laughs> Even with Dash, no way we can make it. Target missile sighted. Is that what we need to protect? Oh, protect, you say? <laughs> Yoko Taro just likes women. True. But I do wonder, like, the in-universe reason it could be. Androids don't need to bathe. As long as you perform regular what the f death laser what yeah but come on 2b it still feels good the dinosaur had a death laser oh ah hell Gotta destroy, gotta destroy. <laughs> that thing's scary. Because at least with the, like, uh, high heels, there's at least the argument of their androids. But it's like, the outfits, the hair, the blindfolds. <laughs> Why are 9S and 2B wearing blindfolds? Is it to be a, a metaphor that they're blind to the cause? That they're, the like, the fighting for. <laughs> 2B, 9S, come in. Commander? Emergency orders incoming. The carrier ship that was set to resupply has come under attack. And how do we get there? Currently being engaged by a swarm of machines. Oh, I've boy. All your troops in the city ruins for assistance. And I'll need you to provide So that's basically well. just I'm me. I'm flight units and coordinates now. Good luck. Out. Oh, hey, flight units. How can you just send them here? Because last time we needed to, like, land in a specific place. If she didn't order others around, what kind of leader would she be? Hmm. If you say so. Again, desperately hope that we're not entering into a point of no return. But hey, shoot them up, section. Oh! I now have missiles. As my, like, ship gun. Man, these pods are versatile. I'll probably stick to my gun for, like, this kind of section. <laughs> the game took control away from me and made me get hit! I have been shenaniganed! But I do really enjoy these sections. They really break things up, make it interesting. I wonder if there's like an achievement for shooting down all enemies in the flying sections. Do not let <laughs> suffer a floating witch to live. Although I guess it does make sense now why these guys look like UFOs. They were made by aliens. I'm still not over that, by the way. Jesus Christ! Hello. Uh. I forget what it's called. Toho! Never played it. That thing is dead. Oh no, it's just weirdly designed. Units in range. We've come under heavy fire from the enemy. Our escort ship has taken damage and is unable to engage. This is a weird camera angle. All remaining support fighters, but we for fighting at least. For I repeat, this is Carrier Blue Ridge 2. We need immediate backup from any available Android forces. 
What do you think's happening, lady? Oh, hey. 255 enemies destroyed in the flight unit. Well, I was kind of right. There is A an achievement, but not the super completionist kill them all achievement like I was saying. Also, I wonder why... Uh, well, I guess it kind of makes sense. Their spheres are alien in origin, probably. Alien schematics for... spherical bullets. Well, talking about UFOs... It's the alien mothership. They... Uh, <laughs> Goliath Flyer. Again, interesting uh, camera angle. Goliath Lawyer. Oh, hey, it's a diddly de laser. Fuck. I almost got hit by that because camera angle, but hey. Ow, oh, that was me. That was me being a failure. This feels like a Star Fox boss. Oh, I thought it was going to go into a phase two. It just flipped, he dipped, and died. Reverting back to area recon. Wait, I'm still picking up a large enemy presence. Didn't I kill that already? What on? If it's that big, we should be able to see it. It's underneath us, isn't it? It's the Kraken. Oh, it was. It wasn't that far off. Jesus Christ! We are never retaking this planet. Well, that's new. That's all. That's a far more alien design. Far more alien design. Is that a machine? It's no, it's Santa huge. Claus. It's like a a, a, a multi. It's, I don't know. It's like if the Death Star was a a, a bug. So we, we have gotta find another way to damage it. Close range attacks. <laughs> Command is attempting to launch a satellite laser strike. We have satellite lasers! Electromagnetic camouflage is making it impossible to aim. We need you to find the emitter and take it out. Oh, is that all? I know, I know, but it's the only way. EMP generator target confirmed. Marking on map. Ah, oh, it's at its Commercial. ass. Destroy the generator quickly. I'll get back to reading chat in a second. I'm just in the middle of things. Although the, the, the lasers don't seem that terrifying, I don't even think it can aim them. But it does seem to have a factory, like, on its back. Which is kind of terrifying. It's like if Atlantis was on the back of a monster. So it's ancient. Upon reaching land, the unit unleashed a devastating electromagnetic wave attack. All resistance fighters in the vicinity were annihilated. So basically, if this thing reaches land, we're screwed. Affirmative. Jesus. And the and, and the, the, the robots just have had this in their back pocket. It's big enough to swallow an attack cruiser. And this was, like, made on Earth. Presumably with Earth materials. And we've already leveled up. Then again, these are, like, level 30 enemies we're annihilating. This is level 10, and it is not dying faster than it should. Don't mind me, just blasting away at that one core. Okay, now it makes sense. The, the the eyeball cores share a health bar with the entire thing. Oh, now it moves. That's just great.
This is Toho, and I've never played one. Maybe I should. The, the, the bit compression would be <laughs> terrible. Presumably. And that thing was level 10. Electromagnetic interference eliminated. Preparing for satellite laser strike. It then pulls out the second electromagnetic emitter. It just no sell that shit. Well, I guess that explains the stompy stomps that were kicking my ass in the Forest Kingdom. <laughs> Having trouble over there? A2. Are you Yorha? Hunter Squadron deploying out of North 12th oh, nope. Defense <laughs> HQ. Then again, how would A2 get a, a fly thing? Don't worry. We'll take it from here. Will you now? The last time I had a crew, they all died. Let's lead this area to the reinforcements. They are yeah, going I to die. You and I should meet up at the spot I just marked. Well, at least they can send in a bunch of squadron people, but we they're gonna die. Lining the shoreline here. All the EMP shielding in the world won't help against close-range mortar fire. Got it. Oh, so we're gonna use the missiles? Oh. Oh, this is cool. Doesn't even have a cockpit. I'll help aim. <laughs> this thing's armor is too thick. We need more firepower. 2B, let's try for a more direct approach. What do you mean? Oh, right. That's right. Lay down some fire in its stupid mouth. There we go. Darn. I was aiming for its eyes. <laughs> How about you swallow some of this? Why does it have giant chompers? Haha. <laughs> Railgun. All thanks to us. Never mind, it's alive. It has a forehead, Jim. It is vision. Oh dear god, it's huge. And now it's probably pissed. Oh hey, all those Yorha units are gonna die. <laughs> LOL. To be. This is bad. How did it get so close? Are you all right, oh, hey, Pascal! Me? Badass! Pascal, don't you die. That enormous machine is an ancient weapon. It was designed to help annihilate the androids. But it wound up going out of control. Oh, so it's not even in the back pocket. Network when it happened. So I remember it. The moment it reached land, it went berserk and began attacking everything in the So it's just a wild monster. No figure out how to stop it. They eventually marooned it deep in the ocean. How did it get out? To be searching for a way back. Huh. So interesting. I think I have another idea. This war is just not working out for anybody. What? This is gonna work. Nine S is leaving the front lines. Proposal: Nine S should be reported to command as a desert. No. <laughs> he has just a new plan. Just hold on. Is that why A two was designated as a traitor? Un uh, unorthodox planning. That's what I was thinking. EMP unit on that thing's back. Otherwise, they're just going to go off course. On. And we don't have a rail gun anymore. If only we had like a really big rail gun. Who needs lasers when you have giant rail gun? The one downside of super action-packed moments: I have no time to rechat. 
I just know if I looked away, bad things would happen. I'll do a deep dive of saying everything once we actually get to a point. Don't you look at me with your laser eyes. I wonder what makes those bullets special against my bullets. But I guess it makes sense why the robots would never make another one of these if it went rogue and dangerous to its own kind. Booyah! Fun fact about the blindfolds, they have a real functional use. Oh, but, uh, like I said, look away for one moment. But apparently the blindfolds act to, like, help with their HUD and UI and stuff while in the field. That's very cool. And I guess, like, in this weird future of junk tech, but also super advanced androids, I guess they could have... Well, I guess it also kind of makes sense, because if they're, like, eyes or cameras, could be, like, super black uh, blindfolds help project the UI and information into a readable, like, thing. I'm gonna get slapped. Although, uh, I guess that's why there's, like, a factory on the back of the giant thing. It's creating its own like, squadron of aids to help fight. Although I wonder how, like, its squadron wasn't absolutely wiped out by its own EMP emitter. Jesus Christ! I, I'm so happy that I put on the chip that gives me health when I down enemies. I would be dead without it. How many of these things does it have? Also, the, the camera angle is being weird. My aiming is terrible! Because it doesn't feel like it's aiming in the direction I want it to. I can't even hit it. There we go. Weird. I wonder if it's just a, a, like, a camera issue, because it did happen once back in the, uh, opera amusement park, where the camera just completely was facing the wrong direction down in the elevator part. So that could be a glitch, or it could just be, uh, stylisticness. There's no way of knowing which way that we are rowing. Perhaps we are going to the town of Kojima. What do you mean? I can't get away in time. And now it's a giant firework. <laughs> All my homies love Paz. Pascal is awesome. S signal lost. Organize a search and rescue party for the missing Yorha members at once. Like everyone but 9S and maybe 2B are dead. 2B. 9S. Don't die on me. I need to betray you later. <laughs> Yoko Taro is like a funny version of Kojima. Kojima can be funny himself. It's just he also has a lot of weird ideas. He just needs people to rein him in. Ruler of the Deep, complete the flooded city. That was fast, we just got here! And I still need to do, like, the wandering couple. I desperately hope that, uh... That any quests in this area weren't annihilated. Looks like something from Godzilla. Oh god, it's just standing there. Well, yeah, in a way... To 
speed to bunker. Come in. Over. No signal. Oh, hey. 2B? 2B, are you all right? Running system diagnostics. Core functionality appears intact. Thank goodness. Never mind that. I need a status report. What about 9S? In regards to the giant machine that attacked the shore. It ceased its resistance eight hours ago. Eight hours? Eight hours? However, its EMP strikes knocked out comms all across the region. Huh. We're having trouble getting them back online, which means data uploading is currently unavailable in some areas. Well, Where's that's not good. S? Um, yeah, about that. He's been they labeled a traitor. A black box reading, but it wasn't strong enough to lock down his position. If you found something, that means he must be alive. Put in a request to the commander for immediate approval to begin a search. Actually, the commander has already ordered us to prioritize tracking down surviving Yorha members. If you find 9S, let me know, okay? Will do. To be out. Well, hey, I found one. They're dead. Hi, I need you to scan for any nearby black box signals. Oh, there's just a lot of bodies now. Scanning complete. No signals detected. However, a dynamic scanner is required for detection of weaker signals. Never heard of it. Said dynamic scanner may be located in the resistance camp. Proposal. Further information should be obtained from the resistance leader. Let's go. So I can't even interact with these dead bodies. Interesting. Well, if there was any place to just throw dead bodies, it's here. 9S has now been taken by A2. He will become a, a, a traitor twink. Well, damn it, the, uh, Emil's memory flower thing disappeared. And I'm not sure if it'll come back. Because, like, the wandering couple was over here. And then they disappeared once I entered the area. And, uh, Emil's memory thing was over here and disappeared once after that. So... Hopefully they'll come back again. Would be nice if the game, like, better telegraphed if things were gonna disappear or not. Oh, hey, you're alive. Uh, uh. No anomaly is detected in black box signal. However, her language core seems to have been damaged. Poor thing, you're gonna be fine, don't worry. Uh. Pods in a rescue signal to the bunker. Affirmative. Interesting, I wonder if there's like a more than that. I did see another body. Well, I saw two bodies. I tried interacting with one, but it didn't work. You'll get another chance, so don't worry. Good, good. It's just that I don't like when quests disappear on me. Nope. Dead. What about you? Dead. Quickly check out the Interesting. Hey, do you have a membership card? A membership card? I can't let anyone in here if they don't have a membership card. Now be gone from here. I told you to scram. You're not getting here without a membership card. <laughs> okay. So presumably I need to get a membership card. Or maybe I needed to go one deeper and give him a lot of money. Oh, hey, you're 2B. I heard you gave $100,000 to a wax scientist. Give me 200000 Oh wait, another body? Are you alive? Nope, you are dead. It's interesting that only, like, when we see them in the field do they all have the outfits. Nobody else on the bunker dresses like this. And oddly enough, like, uh, all the traitors that we've ran into have, like, at least seemingly more things. Oh, I guess it makes sense on why we can't do the Emil's memory thing and the wandering couple, presumably. Because we don't have 9S with us. No idea why uh, the wandering couple disappeared before we activated the quest. It could be that I just loaded the instance and it's like, oh, uh, better not load that quest here just yet. And then now that we don't have 9S with us, 
he can't be the one to call a meal, and therefore uh, can't react when a meal gets there. So makes sense. Understand now. I'm gonna guess that. Oh, hey, they're attacking this again. We can teleport, but why teleport when things might happen? We'll do this the natural way. Running through sewers like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wonder what that would be for, like, 2B. The bodacious android maid babe. Still funny that this apparently was here the entire time, and I just didn't know. Bunker to 2B. 2B here. We've got a number of broken down access points on the field. You want me to the fix them? to be an EMP attack from a gigantic machine life form. Yeah, we just saw that. <laughs> we were just there. Have you tried self-destructing yet? No, because, uh, I've yet to, like, uh, I don't know how. Like, because I know that was, like, in the tutorial, like, ah, oh, you should turn that on. And, like, I looked in the settings, and you can turn it on and off, like, as a diegetic option. But I don't know the buttons to it. Because, like, none of the buttons... All the buttons seem accounted for on my controller, and considering that this was primarily a console game, I doubt that it would be something relegated to just, uh, like a PC button. Hold both analog sticks. Alright, let me go turn that back on, and... Save, and we'll see what happens. Maybe it's another pseudo-ending, like eating the fish or taking out your memory OS. Make sure. All right. Point repairs complete. Doesn't seem like there's any enemies about. And it says hold both analog sticks. Interesting. <coughs> oh! I was gonna say, I'm still alive. It just took my skirt off. <laughs> For a moment there, I was just like, I have that much health? Huh. I wonder if that has, like, any combat use. Probably not. It's probably just a take <laughs> to be skirt off option. It is almost distracting. That is hilarious that that is an option, though. Oh, that's Speed Star poster there. Now it just looks weird that this is filled in on the map. <laughs> next to the... Next to the diddly D. I wonder, can I self-destruct after self-destructing? That's hilarious that you can. It's just... An interesting choice. I wonder if there's a way to get the skirt back. But I also find it hilarious that, like, the only way to do it is self-destructing. You want a change of wardrobe? Explode. And it just goes further to show just how cheeked up 2B is.
Let's see, you have any new weapons? Nope. Do we have, we still need a machine arm for virtuous contact and machine torsos for virtuous treaty. Do I want to upgrade the lance? That would upgrade its damage quite a bit. Everything, what even is the cypress stick? What is your purpose in life? I do find it funny that it's just like a hidden thing. What's up? I'm looking for something called a dynamic scanner that can detect black box signals. A dynamic... Oh, you must mean the one the twins built. The twins? Who are the twins? I think they're just back from an expedition, actually. Oh, you mean them? The head people? You should see some red-haired androids oh. over there. Try talking to them. I thought the twins would be the android or like robot heads. To be. Those twins, they... Yes? Actually, never mind. Well, great. That just leaves me with more questions. <laughs> it's extremely funny that her butt has tripled the polygon count of the rest of her model. Actually, I think that that is a... Like, uh... An internet hoax. And that in actuality, she just has normal amount of polygons all over. It was just a joke... Similar to the, like, I remember early on there was the Hark 2B has a butthole, like, hoax that was going about. But I wonder what, what an enemy was Please, saying about There's no need to be so confrontational. these two. And you don't have to trust every idiot that wanders by. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> can we help you? I need a scanner. I need a scanner that can detect faint black box signals. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, I was tinkering with something like that a little while back. I threw it into Here, the ocean. If you want it, it's all yours. Do I need that to do anything? Help with your search. Once you install it. Once I install it. Can it can detect black box signals, quest objects. Quest objects? Oh, that's cool. You'll hear a sound whenever it finds something. Neat. And if it ever bugs you too much, you can always pop it back out. Let us know if there's anything else you need from us, okay? And don't think this makes us friends. Oh, Devila. The A170 scanner. Oh, it's a pod! I thought it was going to be a chip. Let's see. I guess. Scanner. Oh, hey, you're over here. Sorry, this terminal is out of order right now. Of course it is. But hey, if I am ever looking for quest objects again. I picked up a response on the scanner. Have we? I don't think we have. Oh. Huh, this might be useful. Search target 9S was caught in a large explosion over the water. So we should probably head back there. The search for 9S should commence in the flooded region. Got it. It's funny. You're oddly chatty today. <laughs> as a support unit, I am capable of engaging in conversation as necessary. Proposal. 2B should initiate conversation more frequently. <laughs> Proposal denied. How dare. He deserves more conversation. Yo, Emil! You said I should, like, come find you. Why do I need to shoot my shop owner? You said I should come see you, so I'm gonna come see you while I'm all alone. Without my skirt. Oh. Hey there. What do you have? Oh! <laughs> you have nothing today. The Red Hair Twins are actually character cameos in Automata from an older game near Replicant. Ah, oh, like Emil is. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. It's a neat little thing. 
it's not too intrusive that, like, people unfamiliar with the game would go like, Why do these characters exist? It's just enough for him to be like, hey, neat. Stock up on these things. Hilarious he didn't have, uh... Like, uh, overpriced... Like, chips this time. Space Materials Shop? Okay, he changed. So we're definitely gonna make our way to the way back to the flooded city. Let's see if we can find them there. I wonder how useful the scanner will be overall. We'll have to wait and see. There's the pipe. I still like the chaos language. And that they're just like, we're gonna make a fake language that sounds like any number of languages so that we can have lyrics to our songs that people won't know the lyrics to. It's just kind of funny. I wonder how many black box signals we'll find out here. Because, like, a lot of them were caught in the EMP explosion and should just be dead. Get blasted. I wonder if 2B is too popular to ever be a cameo in, like, future Nier games. We'll pro like, then again, I doubt, like, many of the cameos, even from other Nier games, would be, like, the main characters. So if it would be anybody, it'd probably be, like, the Operator would be the pod, maybe 9S. Oh, you have a giant gun on your arm. Die, Mega Man. And besides, <laughs> 2B probably gets all of her appearing in other games thing from all of the cameo fighters that she does for, like, Soul Calibur and, I think, another fighting game. She shows up a lot. Who are you? Don't worry, I'm... No, get away from me. I don't like the look of you. Proposal. Remove fear functionality. That seems cruel. No, stay away. I hate you. I hate... Sorry to startle you. Just stay here and wait for help. Uh... Man. Being an android sounds like it sucks. Because I had my... <laughs> him scanning, he couldn't carry me. And I fell into the water. To be got added to Blaze Blue? That's interesting. I thought she was added to like a different game, like um, DNF Duel or something. I fell into a hole. Darn you. Flying enemies are a pain to fight. So I shall shoot you from afar. You bastard, except I can't aim down. I thought I would fall into the good hole, but apparently I fell into a bad hole.
Scanning, scanning. We're getting kind of closer, but we need to kill these guys. Please die. You twirl the world Beyblade from hell. Good, he's running out of all his friends. I wonder what happened to Pascal. Oh no, what happened to Pascal? I should have stopped by the village. Because she was right there with us. Well, he. My bad it is, DNF Duel. Aha! My vague memory wins again. Oh, hey. A model that has black hair. I thought all of them had white hair. At least all the ones I ran into. No response. Limited functionality detected in black box. So she's still alive. Contact the bunker. Affirmative. There's probably a hidden achievement for saving all of the downed units. Black box signal detected. Oh, hey! Are you? No, that looks like tits. Employ a check module and a logic virus vaccine. <sighs> Easy. I've contacted the bunker. They should be here soon. Th thank you. We are currently searching for a missing Yorha unit, designation 9S. Should you I wonder how he got blasted. On the subject, please Maybe he got kidnapped. Please, anything will help. 9S, that's that kid who was with you, right? He's an android. I saw him, all right. no. That explosion sent him flying. I think it's in everybody. Hard to say. I'll take my best guess at a landing spot and transfer the data to you. Thank you. Thank you. You should stay here until the rescue team arrives. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. Some have black hair and tan skin. Interesting. Oh, that's not the one egg at all. That's the missing letter. How do you get blasted all the way over there? But I, I just do really like the music in this game. It's just nice. No real idea about the story. I just realized, though, I wonder, like, uh, how prominent the alien invasion part is for, like, uh, other near games. Considering that, uh, at least for Replicant, Emil said that he remembers fighting against the aliens, so... Has to be somewhat prominent in other near games. I'll definitely have to give the other near games a shot. There's like so many games I need to get around to doing. So many good games, like the Persona games, are definitely on my list. I'm definitely interested in doing uh, Persona 3 Portable first because it seems to be recommended that you should start with the, like, oldest and jankiest one and then work up to the more polished like four and five and then of course if you want to go like super different you can always go persona one and persona two and then there's like a sequel for one of the games but those are more shin megami tensei than what would later become uh persona well i went to either he's upside or he's flushed down here Let me see. Oh, he's down there, down there. Okay. Thank you, 3D map with elevation. Hey, Neon, when you reach plane storyline B, just the same story, uh, you know where he was when he stopped 2B. That'll be interesting. And a neat way of doing things. 9S should have landed around here. Alert. Faint black box signal detected. The transmission seems to be coming from an underground cave network. How would he get blasted down here? But hey, if you're gonna... 
separate characters. <laughs> Although this now reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy 15. If which, like, except in Final Fantasy 15, the separation of characters was done for, like, s DLC purposes, and the DLCs were kind of, eh, except for Ignis's. Ignis's DLC was really, really good. It's been, like, almost, oh, God, we are nearing the better part of a decade since I played Final Fantasy 15. I originally meant to make a review of Final Fantasy 15 for the edited content YouTube channel. But then Brain just overthought everything. I'll need to go back and do that eventually. Oh great, they're crucifying now. No black box signals detected. They're crucifying androids again. Why? And these ones seem to be uh, crucified for just Crucifixion purposes. Also, I forgot to check up on the village in Pascal. You are moving away from the last known position of Unit 9S. Wrong route. Better go back and see if there's another one. I missed the turn. I'm full. I was too paranoid by the crucified androids. So the game was like, would you like to start fishing amongst the crucified bodies of your kin? Oh boy! Would 9S have made it this far inside? Alert. Possible enemy ambush ahead. Well, we have Don't to activate care. it. I'm a bad enough android to survive an ambush. Good lord, her hips. Why does it look like this has, like, a keyhole? What the fuck? Genuinely, why is there a... monochrome world underneath the city? What the fuck is it? The sky copied city. Why was there crucified androids leading up here? Analysis. This area is composed of crystallized silicon and carbon. Further details unknown. Who built it? Unknown. He just said that. <laughs> Although I do have to say, probably easiest place to make because it's just untextured or like sparsely textured uh, models, but it has an impact. Because, uh, the sky, weird. Were we teleported? Ha <laughs> ha. And there's a bunch of dead androids here. Jesus Christ. Let me see. Do I have any map data? I have no map data, so I can't tell if this is... Okay, good. I just wanted the item. Okay. Crucified androids leads to a copied city filled with other dead androids that were presumably from the... Like, destruction of the beast? Oh, hey, a blonde one. That's new. And a red-haired one. What's with the corpses? It is unlikely the Yorha units came this far on their own. Hypothesis. The enemy must have placed them here deliberately. Well, that's just disturbing. Why are the combat units the one in maid outfits, but I assume, like, the defense units? The ones in actual armor? It's just... 
I have nothing to say. This is just weird. This feels like this was like. Why does this feel like uh? If Kingdom Hearts decided to have a crossover. So the question is like, who is making this place? Where is the roof? How did we get here? If that's uh, the sky. Who is taking all of the androids here? This is disturbingly close to the resistance. Also, that is just like the most amount of uh, androids that we have seen, especially from Yorha. Well, that's a lot of dead bodies. And moving cubes. Why are the cubes moving? Is this... Oh boy. The cubes are alive. And I got my skirt back for the cutscene at least. Welcome. Who? To my beloved city. Eve, I'm guessing. It's the pants. I, or we, machine life form, so I suppose, have a keen interest in humanity. Love, family, religion, war. The more human records I unearth, the more charmed I am. Why'd you teleport? I didn't attack you. This city is one of many areas I created out of a desire to understand, to know humans. So it's a dollhouse. It's grand, don't you think? Almost spiritual. And yet it's currently nothing more than an android graveyard. And that's your fault. I seek to learn and adopt all facets of humanity. Some desire love, others family. Only then did I realize the truth. The core of humanity is conflict. That's sight. not Stay entirely wrong. Kill. This is humanity in its purest form. You know nothing about humanity. <laughs> I mean, neither do we. Have I offended you, little android? Did I speak ill of your beloved humans? The truth can be so painful. I think he, j I think he just I sent a logo at me. less than the essence of humanity itself. We machines exist in a connected network. We are immortal, invincible. I mean, kind of, but we still can die. Infinite bits of data, there exists not even the merest flicker of being, of life, death, even the concept of death, has no meaning. What about the robots? Where, 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 where do we even get the concept of glasses to? That I shall risk my life in battle. We came down here for 9S and we found a dude named Eve. Where, where did they get the names Adam and Eve? I have severed my connection to the network. Oh! You are betting your entire existence on this. Now, let us embrace death. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, you're Adam. I thought you're... So interesting. Oh, I actually threw you into the air. But man, this guy is just willing to stake his existence. <laughs> How'd you get the concept of laughter? Are you gonna run away, little Adam boy? Gonna reconnect to the network? I do enjoy this. Now he's flying away. Well, that's just mean. He's stabbed everywhere. 
Jesus. Crucified as well. I prepared this just for you. I mean, after all, we all need something to fight for, don't we? You son of a... I'll kill you! Yes! That's that face he made. That's the feeling. Pure hate! <laughs> Come to me! It's almost like he was saying, come to me. Get blasted away. Oh, the music that's kicking off. Something a bit different. It's still very interesting. Like, the, we were there at this guy's birth. He was just created by random robots. Presumably. At least this body was. The music that's playing is super good. Interesting that he's like fighting with his fists and like nano streams. Oh, hey. Just like the first time he died. Is this... death? Just what you wanted. Oh! Eve is not gonna like this. Interesting, we only met him like three times and he's gone. How'd he fall? Oh god. Those who love humans, complete the copied city. That was it. Nine S. To be. Come on. Let's go home. Oh hey, he's well enough to just be carried. Is 2A gonna attack now? Oh, the place is kind of collapsing without Adam to maintain it. I still don't understand the elevator that we took to get here. Damn. 9S really went through hell. You're the boss. You want him sent up to command body and all? I'll make it happen. Huzzah! Thanks. Oh, what? Nothing, just... You've never been much for gratitude, you know? I'm evolving. I learned hatred. Now I learn I people skills. Anything. Oh, um, I also have a message for you. What's that? Command needs you to contact them ASAP. Got it. And unit data has been upgraded. This is 2B. Patch me through to the commander. Oh, hey, 2B. Roger that. Give me just a second here. 2B. Good job destroying that machine. Upon further analysis, we learned that the machine, codenamed Adam, was responsible for managing half of their entire network. Huh. A disruption of this magnitude to their network should weaken the machine significantly. So I wonder what's going to happen well, to 9 s We'll let this It'll finish and then I'll diddly dee. Overhaul up here. Assuming we don't encounter any problems, we're planning to partner him. Data with overhaul you. sounds weird. In the meantime, I have another mission for you. What's I it? mailed you the briefing. Go ahead and take a look. Understood. So that makes me wonder if Report. Mail notification I... received from access point. More and more talking keeps happening every time I try to do things. But that makes me wonder because uh if like uh Adam and Eve like have always existed as like a consciousness of the like network or if uh, they were created by him. Due to destruction of Codename Adam, we have been 
able to deal a significant blow to the enemy's network system. I have already confirmed that numerous machine life forms have been severed from the network as a result. However, just because they are no longer connected doesn't mean they are no longer a threat. It is highly likely they will continue to interfere in our operations. To me, I would like you to gather some intel on the machine life forms. Report back to me if you see any machines behaving oddly, and keep me informed on their activities. That is all. Well, at least I wasn't ordered to explicitly kill them. Machines. Huh. Something tells me this is going to involve a lot of killing. <laughs> Proposal. Procure information from the machine life form known as Pascal. Hmm. I suppose he might know something. Are we going to have to run there and talk? Me? Oh, hello, 2B. Do you need something? I need to know if you've seen any new trends or behaviors among the machines. New trends? Hmm. What kind of fashion are they wearing? Two days ago, I was contacted by some machines that disconnected themselves from the network. They wanted to discuss a peace treaty. Interesting. Then, apparently, they're seeking to form an alliance of some kind with our village. If Hope things go well. Want, why don't they move in? I believe they're working on building a colony of their own. You don't say. Indeed. Apparently, it's located in the abandoned factory. Oh, hey. I can give you the coordinates if you'd like. Please. I was actually planning to go speak with them myself, you know. Maybe we can meet up over there? Sounds good. Tough. I don't want Pascal to die. If Pascal died, it would be sad days. Interesting, we can't do Father Servo. Speedster is out doing things. We also can't... So interesting, it's kind of locked us in to, like, specific things. I'm going to quickly check out the uh, space shop, and then we'll go over here. Because I wonder what the space shop has to offer. So I wonder if, like, Yorha were the ones to give, like, Adam and Eve their code names. Hey, these guys are uh, no longer, like, uh, attacky. What about you? So I guess with the death of a uh, with Adam, since he was, like, directly under this area... Yeah, this part of the network has been severely damaged. Very nice. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna check out their the intel bit on the unit data. I don't think there was anything super interesting. I guess we could look at you because I don't think we looked at you before the Goliath biped. Oh no, but it's just the same. Uh, it's a colony. Let's see, Pascal. Ah, I guess Pascal got an upgrade for flying around. Just upgraded the to flight unit. Ah, scientist machine. Very neat. We'll be seeing you in a moment. Enhanced machines. Just looking to see special unit machines. <laughs> and they also updated his model. Achieved unusual level of evolution among machine life forms as it possesses a strong resemblance to androids. Born naked from a cocoon of machine life forms, its movement was initially quite clumsy. It grew rapidly, however, and promptly began learning new methods of attack. Adam was once again encountered inside the alien mothership. Strangely enough, he spent part of that fight lecturing his foes about how aliens met their end at the hands of the machines. Deeply fascinated with mankind, he seeks to dissect the surviving humans on the moon. Adam also appeared in the copied city. His fascination with humanity led him to create the copied city in an attempt to imitate them. He then separated himself from the network and put his life on the line against Tubi in an attempt to better understand the concepts of life and death. While he eventually gained the knowledge he sought, the price was his own life. Also kind of interesting, Eve has a left-handed, like, uh, glove, while Adam had a right-handed glove. That are unique to them. Goliath Flyer. The giant kaiju bastard. But yeah, it's just very interesting that Adam and Eve were like, well, Adam was first born of the cocoon, then Eve was born of Adam, which very fitting because biblically Eve was born of uh, Adam's rib. But I wonder if it was a Yorha designation or just their own thing. 
Very interesting that Adam just decided I'm gonna put on glasses. But what we'll do is we will head in, make a hard save. Probably two. So this will be a like return point after everything in case I accidentally hit the attack button and kill people again. And the children are like, where's Pascal? Pascal is missing. All right, now that we're here, shall make, let's see, this is the latest and resilience camp was recently updated, so that'll work. Now let's go see what the scientist has to sell. But I still am, like, intrigued by the different, like, levels of machines. Like, the desert machines seemed kind of primitive. But then there's, like, the forest, like, uh, the Pascal Village machines. And then the Forest Kingdom that seemed to be around for a while. It's just very interesting. Still all is not lost. I'll gladly sell you some of the materials the rocket carried back from that red and desolate planet. It, it was a return trip? It's an accessory. Huh. Interesting. You can sell me an alien mask or meteorites. And it was a return trip. How the hell? That's a fast rocket. Adam stated to you how the machine life forms really works with the aliens, designed them to adapt to battle, learn, and evolve very fast. It's just funny, but like different ones seem to evolve like faster than others. Like the Forest Kingdom seem to have evolved like through their king. Then like Pascal seems to have evolved like the most. But I guess we'll head over and. Meet with Pascal. See what wacky things doth happen. But I guess it also kind of makes sense if, like, uh, all the, like, machine life forms that were gathered in the desert gathered together their consciousness to create... Adam. Still no idea how they, like, created an android body, but hey, who knows. It could be that they hit, like, an epiphany and were able to, like, super evolve in a short period of time into Adam. But these things are very interesting. Very interesting. It's also interesting, again, like, uh, there's, like, the robots that, like, are cut off from the network. Like, initially, like, the ones around the Resistance Camp Lake that seem docile but not much more. And then there's, like, the ones that like chose to cut themselves off from the network that seem more evolved which I guess makes sense because if they chose to cut themselves off they already had like a starting base of intelligence to work from like of innovation whereas if they were just cut off that wouldn't necessarily lead to innovation and evolution so it's just like very interesting these machine life forms. 
from my YouTube chat. I'm glad you're not playing it when it came out because there was a gigantic spoiler because some text was swapped. Oh my god. Oh, that is the worst kind of glitch. You mean just like in the middle of a conversation, a later conversation's text got played instead? Oh, that... That is hilarious and sad. You play it day one. Surprise! You got spoiled, son. That is both hilarious and sad. So yeah, kind of a good thing that I waited all these years to play it. <laughs> yeah, com video games and their glitches, huh? Hello, Pascal. Ah, you're no longer a ship. Hello. Are you ready to go? The machines you seek to form an alliance with my village are hiding out here. Still, you should probably be careful. We machines can be rather unpredictable. That's a mood. In truth, yes. Now that we're cut off from the network, we no longer share data with mm. each other. We can speak, of course. But I find that language contains many ways to hide one's true intentions. I hope I don't have to fight Pascal eventually. But hey, maybe this place will no longer be a threat to me. And we'll be able to come here in peace. I am disturbed already. I don't like them already. The domain of God, huh? Not the worst belief. His grace wishes to form a pact of peace with your people. We, his humble priests, will guide you to it. This way. Okay. We have come to know the existence of God. I am intrigued. And by his word, all living things are to be considered evil. I need to be careful not to hit any attack buttons. All right. Down this corridor, if you would. Let's go meet God, then. Is it gonna be Eve? Or someone else? So it's not through the... Oh, maybe it's gonna open the elevator. Interesting. But man, you guys must have evolved fast. Well, then again, I was out for quite a bit. And I did kill Adam, so... Grace's Sanctum. This is either an ambush. This all seems pretty shady, if you ask me. Same. So still here? Well, I brought you this far, didn't I? It's my duty to see this through to the end. Please don't die. Appreciate it. I like you, Pascal. You're a unique bot with a good heart. <laughs> okay, now machines are interested in religion. Considering they had the concept of a king in the forest, why not? The door leads to the sanctum of his grace. We should at least hear him out. Yeah, I'm just coming this way for the chest. She's actually talking about being filled with copies of the movie Serenity, the spin-off movie from Firefly. Bad things are gonna happen, huh? Why do they need fire? They are robots. Um, hello. My name is Pascal. I'm here to discuss the peace treaty. Oh, 
that's not good. Who's wondrous grace has become a god. Why was it a body? His wondrous grace has become a god. His wondrous grace has become a god. I do not like your tango. Oh. Are they gonna become a new Adam and Eve? Ah, it's a suicide cult. <laughs> we didn't even get to hear the, the, the grace. We need an immediate escape route. Communications are currently unstable. Loop a distress signal. You haven't even been there. I don't want to become a god with you. I wonder if I could just kill them all. They'll probably keep spawning. But still. Yeah, they're all just perpetually spawning. Get out of here, Pascal! I was gonna be open to them, maybe give them a benefit of the doubt. But now they just had to be crazy. Come on, Pascal. Oh, hey. Who are you? What? Okay. All right, that's kind of cool. I'll try not to let you down. Oh wait. Please, don't kill me. Did you regret? Okay, so these ones came to regret. How did it come to this? Please stop all the killing. I'll provide you with anything you need. For a price. So this really is a cult. These guys joined, but weren't expecting this. Now they're just showing off with this. We're deep underground. Jesus, though. Are you gonna fight? <laughs> we are now entering once more onto the breach of... Uh, is this artistic, uh... Camera angle, or... <laughs> is this not meant to be happening? Could be either or. Oh, wait. Is it because of 
Uh. Adam? Did Adam uh, influence this somehow? Like, the last bit of Adam dying and being like, ah, death, this is what this is, somehow, like, connected to some robots who are still part of the network just about to be cut off and influenced them heavily? Okay, new map information. I'll quickly save. The connection's too unstable to use the transporter. Oh, colonies. But yeah, this is just not good at all. What the fuck? Suicide bombers. Okay, maybe I need to turn this on. At least Pascal can't die from my failings just yet. I should have known that nothing good would come to this place. Poor schmucks got baited into this. I'm gonna come back down here and kill you. No executions down here. Oh, that was instant death. That's kind of rude. I don't like instant death. Ah, uh, continue. Resume game. Yep, when character dies, the body will remain on the map as a corpse. I just get it back to it. Rude. I've never seen Pascal fall off. <laughs> well, now you have. Frequently. Let me see. Definitely good. Hopefully my body will be in the same place. Because I think that's like all of my... Yeah, I have no... Things equipped. All because of instant death. Not if I have anything to say about it. Huh. Ah, I think my body will be in a semi-safe place. Retrieve. The circle of death, have your body collected. Za. I'm gonna wait for it to crash again. I'm now terrified of these things now that I know that they an insta kill. I kind of have their timing is visual, so I shouldn't be too scared, but 
I'm, I'm still gonna be scared. Now that I know that they're instant kills. To be. Keep going straight. We'll do. Jerk. No lasers for you. Why are there praying mantis laser spiders in this factory? I wonder if since they're robots, if they're like more literal. Oh, hey, you survived. Hey, you have a brain. Make use of it if you get out of here. Guys, 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 guys. Machines, now, if only you had this thought in a less suicidal way. Okay, that's just mean that they kept spawning there. We do need to go in there. I was wondering. I was wondering if that was like, is this a secret way or way it wants me to go? God, they're just spawning a ton of them. Good Lord, how many of there are you? They're probably just respawning, but still. Stop spawning, you bastards. At least I get health for killing you. So against mob bosses like this, I have nothing to worry about. I dearly hope that I can get Pascal out of here. Hopefully Pascal doesn't come down with wanna be a god Idas. Unless it's from El Dorado. The door's open. Keep moving. Alright. Just a melee attack up. Not all that worth it. Man, Pascal is just diving all over the place for me. Because I'm going to assume that this is just a locked door that I need 9S for. But. Yeah. Hmm. Odd, for a moment there it seemed like the pod locked onto something. Wanted the dented plate. Well, now let's see. No, not, not climb down. Do you want to fight? What happened to everyone? They went insane. Oh, it's over. It's all over. Game over, man. Oh, God, please restore them to their senses. What's this way?
I'm intrigued by this. This seems optional. So I shall take on the challenge. Oh, hey, I leveled up. So I wonder what that elevator went like. It, I, I don't think that this is the way it wants, like, story-wise. I don't think this is the way it wants me to go. I wish that I could see, like, the sideways map. Or maybe this is the way it wants me to go. Hmm. Because that required an unlock. Come on, jump down. Yeah, this is a very giant factory, isn't it? It's just I don't know if this is like an elevator that leaves. Hmm. Presumably I should be able to come back here. Like elevator. Oh! Oh, shit, it's the electro leg dudes. I do not like them. I hate their contact damage. There we go. No more contact damage for you, Sam I am. I know, I just knew the moment that I saw, like, colony bots that they were going to be something. Got a quick save. The connection's too unstable to use the transporter. That's what I figured. I just wanted to come up here to do it. So in a way, I was kind of correct. At least we got something out of that. A big fight for a good amount of experience. Now through the rat trap once again. All right now I need to be careful because these are instant death. God, the smoke does not help. Game, game, game. I do not like this, Sam. I am. The fact they intentionally had enemies built to yeet us, delete us, you. That could be a place down. Actually, yeah, it is a way down. Because Pascal... Pascal knocked me off the platform. At least falling doesn't kill you. Pascal, why do you exist here right now? I want to pick this up, Pascal. You are in the... Pascal. Damn you. I just wanted this. I don't think Pascal was meant to join me on the platform. Pascal, why? Well, that's one way to do it. At least it's not an instant death. But still.
think we only lost one believer. This is a thing we need 9S to open. You know, they went through a lot of effort to create, like, like clothing and paint for a suicide cult. Oh, hey, machine head. I need a machine arm and torso. Two torsos, actually. Is it because there's enemies about? And memory alloy. So they're starting to drop like the big things. Well, apparently to become a god. For a dead body, I guess. Exit route secured. Thanks. You okay? I'm not asking you, I'm asking this believer. By trying. to use this elevator with us. Hopefully we will not die. The factory is definitely an OSHA violation. Well, considering that this is probably a factory made by the aliens, I guess? Are we going to get into a boss fight with the True Grace? The one behind all this? This looks like we're in arena! Oh boy! Lots of dead bodies. This looks like the... Uh, what's it called? The, uh, the uh, arena that you fight a Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess boss in. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Become as gods? Alert. Energy shield detected over enemy unit. Physical defense shield detected. Analysis. Both long and close range attacks are ineffective. Oh, now what? Large energy supply detected within this factory. Proposal. Energy source should be destroyed. Nine S, that Goliath we just encountered. I got it. I've been keeping an eye on you. I'm gonna shut off power to the factory now. Oh boy. Factory system at eighty percent control. Hang in there, two B. Why is this, like, hooked up to a super laser, anyway? I just shut down the electrical grid. Enemy shield deactivated. Why did it take away, like, the best camera angle for fighting this thing? The explosions and 
lighting does make this an interesting fight at the very least. But I have no idea when it is like preparing to attack me. At least you're taking a ton of damage. Without your shields, you're nothing. Are you actually the Grace? Are you the he that killed everyone? Get out of here. Eyeball. Pascal, please don't be dead. Okay, good. Twisted religion. <laughs> I don't think there was any items to pick up there. So let's uh, move along. At least Pascal was like, I'm gonna fly away. And was good. That was a very interesting boss. Like, design-wise. But I don't think they could have done anything, like, interesting combat-wise because, uh, lighting. Or maybe I just had good chips. And they kept me alive. But it was very fun. Especially because 9S was still helping us, just in a different way. Oh, this place is going to be different now, isn't it? Well, this place became a nightmare world. Well, if you're not going to attack me, I'll let you suffer. You're reveling in it. Die. Very clever, like, use of an area again. You don't need to jump. Jesus Christ. So this is just a robo-suicide cult. I thought that they were going to suicide together and, like, create a new Adam. No. And they brought Pascal and us there to partake. Pure insanity. Well, this place will never be the same again. Iron Soul, complete the event. Why? Why did you have to die? Did you, why did you set up a long ass table? My only brother. What? Damn them. I'll kill them. I swear I'll kill them all. Oh no, he's getting inked. Huh. Oh, that was certainly something. I had no idea such a vast space existed beneath the abandoned factory. <laughs> Cartoonish table. Investigate as soon as possible. Exactly. When I do, perhaps you'd be willing to join me? No thanks. It reminds me back to the resistance camp. What about you? Oh, I'll probably wander back to the village. I have plenty on my plate there. I see. <laughs> bye bye, Pascal. But yeah, that long table reminded me of a game, but I don't know its name. Say again? I'm not receiving. Scanning for interference. The machine requesting a backup. Forces in range. Please, we can let's move. So this is just a railroad story segment. There is no freedom. So yeah, all the way back to the camp, I guess. Wait, 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 wait. 
And we still have to report that uh, a robot suicide cult sprung up. Well, I guess because Eve is on the warpath, these have uh, come out to play. Whoa, you... What was that? Did you upgrade mid-fight? What fun. They dropped the colony down there. Well, something's changing with these things. Or maybe it's just their get-off-me tool. To make you change up how you pl fight against uh, plebeian stubbies. Like, just in case. Yeah, every thank God Ingalls is dead. I don't think I don't think I'd like to know what would have happened if Ingalls ha had stuck around to potentially be turned Why are their numbers increasing into like, a, like a monster. Try contacting the bunker via laser relay system. Just more and more and more. We need to get closer to kill this thing. Again, thank, <laughs> thank goodness that I have, like, deadly healing. Deadly healing is just a nice thing to have for this kind of situation of lots of dangerous enemies, but the more they send, the more they die, the more I heal. Oh, this has an animation! How fun! <laughs> so yeah, it does seem like they are infinite. So I should probably head to the main camp. Come on, stop doing that and die already. Jesus Christ, they're just spamming it like bastards. Stop spamming. That's my job. I have shockwaves, you know. Fine, if you're gonna be little spammers, I'll just go on my way until you use that skill to clothesline me, I guess. Everyone's gonna be dead, aren't they? You know, this is probably the worst way to go. Well, great, they're being... Oh, eaten. Are they eating them? How? How do they even have the processes? So, this place is just dead. Oh, yeah, he's dead. So presumably everybody we know is dead. To be. Oh, you're alive. They came out of nowhere, overran the entire camp. You probably should have had a better camp. Back, but our shots have no effect. Shields detected on multiple enemy well, now that's just not fun at all. Not fair. Got it. You get the other androids out of here. Good luck. Well, no wonder they had no effect. They had shields. But why are they eating them? 
is the real question. Get blasted. Right shielding havers. Keep running into my missiles. It'll work someday. Yeah, it actually kind of did. Oh, of course, the colony's here. Nope, no grabby. You idiot. God, I'd hate to see a colony one try to eat the androids. But yeah, they definitely needed a better camp. To be you you saved our lives. Well, not everybody. What's going on here? I have no idea. They came out of nowhere and just Oh boy, it's just going to get worse. Huh? That was outside the camp. Oh, hey, you. You again? I thought I killed you. How the hell do I fight you? Presumably... I was trying to jump. Now the game <laughs> honors my jumping. Oh, hey. It's electricity is down. Huzzah. Stop screaming. This is never going to end. Hypothesis. The Goliath-class enemy screen has summoned the local machine life forms. Proposal. Destroy the Goliath. Well, that was the plan anyway. Keep screaming. Gonna roll away at the speed of sound. They were locking me in place to be blasted. To me. <laughs> Suicide bomb. Man, we're just wasting those. They're meant to be very expensive. You okay? Good thing I landed that direct hit. Huh? Uh oh. Oh, Eve was inside. All of you are going to die. Why was Eve inside? Oh, are they gonna do the thing again? He's gonna start in- Oh, no, they're eating it. Are they gonna eat him? Oh, they're eating him. So it's gonna be another evolution cocoon. Or a writhing mass of hell. Okay. I'm fine. Let's take this bastard down. Right. Okay, I was not expecting... A writhing corpse ball. Oh, that's not going to be good. Dodging around at the speed of sound. Dodging the lasers that never end phasers. No, no ball for you. How dare you hit me with part of your ball. That is illegal. He's actually become quite tiny, hasn't he? Speedrun. I have the health to tank it. Ah, uh, he's going laser again. I 
I'm so fast I can dodge all the lasers. Meanwhile, 9S is doing his best. You have a fraction of health left, Eve. Prepare to die. Oh, this is just gone? Just gone. What? Of course not gone. You probably dispersed yourself amongst the entire network. Eve has become Neo. Robo Neo. They're still coming? What do we do? There's too many. It's never too many. No, Pascal. Come on, Pascal's village can't die. They're the good ones. We just had an adventure with Pascal. He was gonna go and see, look and see what's all about with the Liberty Blah. Just like everything is happening. It's like we went from like an open world RPG to like almost a linear level one. This almost feels like the end game. Damn it. They're here too. Let's take these guys out first. Your horrific little monster, Eve. Like, how did you become just a disembodied well no that's not even robo parts that's just rubble you are just a telekinesis monster well that's another piece of eve dud i guess you saved us oh thank you so much what happened here the machines on the network all went berserk at the same moment i think the unit presiding over them may have gone mad it's eve it's gotta be if we destroy this presiding unit, will it stop the rest? Most likely, yes. Pod, I need you to locate Eve's current position. Location has been detected and placed on map. We'll take care of Eve. You just worry about keeping the village safe, okay? Time to go kill Eve. Do be careful. We're gonna kick him out of Eden. We're gonna be God. Ah, quoting the Pokemon movie, I see. Brother! Brother! What is this? Brother, like the area with my brother. I think all these transmissions are making the machines go haywire. We have to find Eve and destroy him. On it. <laughs> now what? Are they gonna reform into another body? Or are they all just dying? Hanging out emo style. Done brooding. Uh, and here you are. I know you two feel the same. That this world is utterly meaningless. Oh, that's just you. As far as I'm concerned, my brother was everything. We didn't even get to see you interact. <laughs> and now, everything must die! Great, he's gone. Did you kill my brother? Uh, cause he tried to kill me. I, I, 
Like, you do understand that if you just tried not to kill me, you wanted to kill humanity, it's kind of our job to help humanity in this whole war. Eve took my part, or like, Adam took my partner. And, uh, kidnapped him, was also killing a bunch of androids. Oh, platforming combat. Ow. Interesting. Location of combat? Oh. Up and now it all falls to the ground. Alert. Massive energy signature detected. Yeah, it's him. The energy seems to be coming from a large number of latent machine life forms. He's absorbing the life force of whatever's left on the network. So we have to kill the network over and over again. I'm going to try hacking into Eve and shutting him down. Back me up, 2B. On it. Protecting Unit 9F while he hacks the system. The enemy is connected to a vast network. Analysis. The actions of Unit 9S have an unacceptably low probability of success. Proposal. Unit 2B should abandon Unit 9F. If 9S says he can do it, then he will! Why is with the probe being very... We should uh, label him a traitor. He's like not all that worried. We should abandon him. Come to think of it, is the probe just like a... Lesser android? Or is it just like a... Like a... More like a machine life form in terms of intelligence. And you said it was unacceptably low. Oh, punch him with his own arm! Wait, how'd you make an arm like that? Oh, I guess you did hack it. If you, if you hack the network, he can do that. I guess kind of makes sense. Oh, my sword's fucking broken. Again, Eve, I only killed Adam because he was a bastard. You're just going to show that you were two halves of the same bastard. Stop running. Stop going prototype and die like a man. Like a man droid. Get back here, you shirtless hunk man. Props to the voice actor. He is doing a lot of good screaming. Where are those bullets even coming from? Alert. NFC is destroyed. Close range combat no longer honorable. Have to dodge by walking around. Very rude. This is 3D Toho. FMCS destroyed. Ranged combat no longer operable. Hey, you fuck. I'm gonna stab you in the head.
all through the head. And the network's dead. Well, now what's gonna happen? It's over. And then she gets stabbed from behind. That this is gonna lead to the credits, isn't it? Because multiple endings. Oh. You've survived worse, I'm sure. Oh. Ninas. Has he become the network? Cause he hacked it. He hacked it, and therefore now he's part of it. I must have been corrupted when Eve detached from the network. No. It's you're, okay. You're gonna ask me to kill you, aren't you? I always reload my backup data from the bunker. But you won't remember this. You'll lose you, the you that exists at this very moment. Yes. But we can't but let him can't corrupt the bunker. This corrupted data to the bunker. And I mean, he's not that out of date. He just won't remember saving us from the factory. But he'll remember everything else, right? Save him so that he can be himself without being Eve. Unless it's like a very far away backup. I shall rip off your head. <laughs> Don't just strangle him, he's an android! That's not gonna work! Why did they give the androids functioning throats? Awkward though it may be, I can't think of uh, any position that's less awkward to strangle him from. Still don't know why an android has a functioning throat and can then be killed by choking. Then again, this is your ha. Is it now that we get betrayed? The commander comes down and just like... I was a demon all along. It always ends like this. How always? Oh, the widescreen bars are going away, or are they coming in? I don't know. The fuck is that? Is it a sign that like all the There's still some alive? Yeah, but it's going green. Don't go super angry and kill Pascal's village and shit. God damned machines. Where did all these heads come from, is even? A message? The data transmissions. They're resonating with each other. Like a glorious song. So he just decapitated all the bots. And now they're singing together. Seriously, how did all the heads get everywhere? What the fuck? Who are? Uh, 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 it looks like I left my personal data in the machine side of things. So now 9S is a hive mind. Was regenerated over the surrounding network. 
Huh. Having multiple selves fused together like this is a pretty valuable experience, so I wanted to record it. But I couldn't access any storage areas yet, so I just multiplexed it over the memories of some nearby enemies so that when I returned to my own body, I... Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. Well, I guess this was slightly foreshadowed back in the... industry section of him hacking a robot. What is it that separates machines from androids like us? The machines have gained emotions, consciousness. The final screams they summoned on the edge of death. And now it, it bridges echo. even more. 9S becomes a robot after we killed the androids that were kind of like robots. So I guess that was ending a flower for machines because it highlights a similar to like the fish ending and the OS ending. And in this ending, just nothing about A2. Nothing about A2. Huh. Hey, Erica Lynn Beck was in this. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that I knew that there was like multiple like story endings, like this would be a like I don't know. I think it's because the main story, like for this section, felt kind of rushed. Because if you think about it, the main story is Tubi and 9S get blown up along with some Titan classes or Goliaths or whatever out on the ocean base. They come back down. They massacre a desert village, which creates robot androids. Then they meet, they go to an amusement park and kill an opera bot. Then they get invited to a robot village which is peaceful then the city gets invaded by goliaths then it's wipe out the forest kingdom where you're introduced to a2 who fucks off from the narrative then it's like like, I don't know, it's very much and then, and then. It's a very cool ending, but it's weird. <laughs> yep, end of a route. The funny thing is, if they just, like, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, like, if they just uh, refined things a little bit, this could have been its own, like, story on its own. But I guess they decided we want to do some fucked shit. We want multiple endings. <laughs> Here you have <laughs> this is just the beginning of the game, which is hilarious. You play through something that's kind of tangibly its own, like story, and you're like, surprise. That's just an alternate universe beginning to the story. I'm a little, I'm almost disappointed that it's not chaos language being sung right here. 12% of the story done! And I didn't even do all the quests in that route. Because I still had to do the wandering couple that got cut off from me. And Emil's memories. Hopefully they carry over to side B. So that while you're doing the B side. Like story stuff. You can also do. Like the quests that you didn't finish. Maybe. Who knows. I think that would be nice. Especially because there was no indication that. The sea, like, the, the flooded city was basically the beginning of the end. Most of the story is in Route C and D. That is hilarious.
And I'll have, I'll have to wait and see how those, like, routes go. But it's kind of impressive, though, considering it took me five streams to get through the main, like, A story. Presumably, it'll probably take me, let's say, three or four streams for the B. How many streams am I going to have to do for C and D? Apparently, this route was basically just a tutorial the whole time. Which is hilarious and terrifying. Funnily enough, if that was it, I probably would have been satisfied. Relatively enough. One battle ends. Achieve ending A. Notification from Square Enix. To all players, thank you very much for playing Near Automata. We have a special message for you. This game has several different storylines that change each time you play. You have witnessed the A route, but there are still many story elements and changes to the gameplay systems you have not seen. Changes to the gameplay systems! We highly recommend you play through again to witness the full Near Automata experience. That is hilarious that they had to put that in. Voice change option added to other options. Sure. Let's see. I will save over you because you were the factory. To continue playing with the same save data you used to complete the game, select continue and load that save data. The ending credits change language every route, by the way, including chaos. Ah, huh. that's good because I probably would have never listened to it again. You know what? Let's start the B route then. Let's start the B route and see things. We won't get that far because we've been going for three and a half hours. But let's see what the beginning of B route has to offer. Even though, apparently, it's just a repeat from 9S's other. Ominous! Oh, yeah, because I was scouting. Or, like, 9S was scouting. So am I going to kill this guy? Oh, I'm going to begin playing as you. Oh, boy. I feel very... Uh... In danger right now. Are we gonna... Are we going to learn that 9S was a, like, a, a, ro a machine life form the entire time? Where's the container? Probably needed to get closer to the door, maybe. This is faster than anything. Yeah, buckets are over there. The ultimate modding challenge. Can you beat all the routes of Nier Automata while playing as a stubby? I will give you super soup. Ah, we can play as a... This is actually a thing we have to do. We have to go around all the obstacles. <laughs> this is hilarious. But this is just depressing. If I jump, I probably lose it again.
But funnily enough, like... Because this is the, like, construction facility. Now my brain is going, like, what if we're actually playing as, like, Eve? Or, yeah, like, e Eve obsessed with his brother. And this is all a metaphor. It wakes up his brother. He says, I hate you. Brother. Brother. Doesn't matter how much oil you give him, little guy. You can't make a machine your brother. Rude. <laughs> You're watching that entire thing and you still want on let's go kill everyone mode? Looks like it's time. No longer are we thick thighs and fat ass. We are now the twink. Unless if we use self-destruct, and we get a fat ass out of to unit 9S. <laughs> out of 9S. 9S. 9S here. Go ahead. The Yorha troops have commenced their descent. Disable the enemy base's defense systems immediately. Roger that. How did we even get here? Oh hey. Cruel Oath. Do I have any weapons? I have weapons. I even have the other things. Huh. Interesting. Oh! We can only have one weapon at a time? As 9S? Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Flight unit recommended. Because yeah, we're probably locked off from actually going places here, so we need to go to our Flitty Unita. Our flight Unica. Alert. Defense systems cannot be reached from the ground. Then let us fly. All right. We're level 35. Did I end on level 35? I forget. I forget what level I was when I ended as 2B. We have everything else from the previous run, so it should all carry over. No lasers. Get out of here. I don't know why, but my brain just went, hey, this gives the vibes that remind me I need to write my Five Nights at Freddy's fanfic. And I don't know why. We'll need you to take down the enemy's defense systems to give our attack squadron a chance. You have four targets that need... Yeah, that happened like once. Have been detected around each target and must be defeated before continuing. So we're gonna be doing this a lot. Ah, good case of twin thing.
begin the hack to nation. Yeah, yeah. One affirmation will suffice. <laughs> Yeah, because we got this a little bit in the A-Path, but I, I do enjoy that it's an 8-bit rendition of the song that was playing. Oh, we're on a timer. I need to get going. I thought it was clear everything. No. My OCD was kicking in. Very interesting gameplay. Why well, hack the small things? All that it's giving me the choice. We do get, like, a bit of experience. Ah, big guy. Die, die, die. Very interesting. I wonder if there's a near Automata randomizer that randomizes the paths. Or, like, the, the stories. I think that'd be neat. They never use this gameplay section again. That's sad. This is cool. But hey, who knows? It's it's near Automata. Who knows anything? Fear my power. I am 9S. I am the second playable character of this game. Well, technically third, because Minibot. But very interesting. I do like that they brought the hacking back, because I do recall that being early on that's, like, never revisited as, as to be. Hacking complete. One target remains. Man, this is a real pain. May I remind you that personal chatter during operations is restricted? Fine. Nine S deserves a better operator. Come down and face your fight. Get smacked by giant sword. But this is like must have been a big surprise to people playing this game when it first came out. They're like, oh, I beat the game. Surprise! There's more game. You idiot. Can they, though? Because I'm fairly certain all but one of them is going to die. <laughs> what do I think of the hacking gameplay? It's basically the this gameplay, but simplified, so it's nice. Has the base. However, there is only one unit remaining. That was fast. Ooh, must have been rough out there. The enemy's defensive weapon is making things more difficult than we estimated. La 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 sword 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 
I guess we need to go save 2B. <laughs> Pretty sure the message at the end credits was added later because Whoa. people just played the A route and never played the game again. Fire no, game again. <laughs> that is hilarious and sad. Better make sure he's actually dead next time. That was dangerous, man. You're 2B, right? My name's 9S. Yeah, from my pers support. from this perspective Copy now. That. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh, I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right. I'll work my way inside from the ground. The funny thing is, like, the lack of a, like, message, like, hey, there's more game, probably would have made me also, like, miss the content, at least for a while. Uh, I probably yeah. would have tried some what? new game plus, but... Well, yeah, I probably would have been like, oh, yep, that's, uh, that's the game for now. You know, ma'am, I'm glad you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. I say Scout as I annihilate my foes. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And another thing. Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right, then. To be it is. To be or not to be. That is the thighs. You think if we self-destruct as 9S, he'll suddenly grow giant thighs to match 2B? Or he'll become a shirtless hunk like Adam and Eve? Oh, I can hack in here too. Did not realize that. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. It's just accessing random, nonsensical data from the old world. There's no actual meaning behind anything machines do. But we'll learn that later, that that's wrong. I like that I still have the chips from the first playthrough. So I can just kill enemies to heal. Die. Die. You've come from a different route, prepare to die. How do I know she's talking about birds? The environment's changed. There should be another facility across that bridge. I'm just psychic, I guess. Should we check it out? It's not like command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? I wouldn't bet on that. This makes me wonder if I can get like a different ending to the betrayer storyline. Now that I know that they're not real betrayers. To be. What's going on? She appears to be engaging the target enemy. We have to help her. Let's go. I'll scan the shit out of that Goliath. <laughs> but this to level's be. going much faster. Also, I find it funny. I'll scan the perimeter. <clears throat> Did not do that. Destroy it. 
Oh, hey, it's Ingles! It actually has his name. Man, he survived? Like, you mean to tell me that Ingles survived the black box explosions? Man, Ingles is a badass. Hey, let me get in your head. Now into your body. Maybe we can sub free Ingles. Get blasted with your own rocket singles. You'll be free soon. Because 9S is a scanner, you can see the boss names. That's actually really cool. She still co totally could have dodged. Oh, it's not the same Eagles. They just share a model name. Ah, that makes sense. Man, sucks being me. Oh. Where am I? Recovery sector, eliminate access to impairment all blocks. Interesting. I was wondering what was going on. Get my visual system back up. Gotta go fast. Ah, oh, vocal system. Now I'll be able to whine. Voice functionality recovered. External sound input confirmed. Sign Neat that, that that's a cool thing. That's a cool moment. I have to repair him. Hod, get me staunching gel and logic virus vaccines. Then access the Inadvisable. The subject's vital signs are too poor to attempt field repair. Shut up! Current. Just do what I say. To be just go. Me, you shut up too. I've played this part before. We'll get out of this, okay? We we're soldiers. We take pride in our service. Somehow <laughs> the flight unit <laughs> survived. Six seven seven received. Usage rights transferred from 9S to 2B. Requesting acknowledgement. Please. And then I'll be able to hack the other Ingles for the upcoming boss fight. Right. Or like, because I think continuing to hack, I think that's what 9S was doing. But this is neat. Seeing like a different side to it. It'll also be interesting to see like the main segment. Wouldn't be surprised if, like, the side quests that we did were already done and, like, new side quests were added and then, like, side quests you didn't do. Just, like, it would be neat. But we'll have to wait and see. How are the stubbies getting here? You will not attack my body. Get away from the body. Get 
The UFO ones really want to get close. Quit dodging. Are we going to have one that's going to be like Brad there? Brad there jumping at us. That would be potentially funny. Get out of here. No more walking for you. To be the control on the enemy's upper arm. You should pod. Should be able to take it over. I told you to shut up. I'll never shut up. I am a scanner. I am the protagonist now. We never do see the super telekinesis of fighting it with the arm, do we? Like again, I mean. Like, imagine if we did this more. Complete. Two B has successfully commandeered the enemy unit. Continuing support. Upload two B's memory data package. Alert! Memory data for Unit Nine S has not yet been updated. It's fine. Too bad. Upload two B's data first. She's the first protagonist. The player will remember for me. The music playing here is nice. This will do some extra damage by exploding. I need to remember I can do that because that's good damage. You really shouldn't have dropped it. Should have kept it to blast everyone. Will you just die already? I really don't think that that was... I still don't think that that was... Like a, a valuable attack. Smacking it with the arm would have been more powerful. In my opinion. about bringing the battle to them uh, to be contact command request assistance too late no it doesn't look like that's going to be necessary <laughs> more ingles alive oh great Time for suicide pack. Now we can become as gods. I don't imagine that <laughs> this is going to end well. The black box. It's ready. Right. these things even hiding just in the water destruction of enemy hostiles via black box reaction request accepted to be it was an honor to fight with you truly the honor was mine goodbye everyone to the academy rewards And then I guess because they didn't upload my memories, I get out first.
Looks like it's time to help 2B get herself set up. She's probably waiting in her room now. Interesting how this is all going. We got mail. Access Point Arcade. This lets you replay any hacking minigames you completed. Huh, that's neat. You can- I can hack into her email. To all users, we have prepared a hacking library using combat data from Yorha units. All hacks that have been encountered previously can now be revisited at your leisure. For safety's sake, however, those that have yet to be encountered have been excluded. Well, yeah, that's how linear time works, server manager. Interested parties can access the new library from the server room in the bunker. Apparently, I also got, like, a lot of these. Just none from, uh, 6 -0. Sorry to barge in on you. Oh, looks like you've already started. <laughs> Do you want to take a break? Nah, we won't be a creep. God, I'm fucked up. 2B, can you hear me? I'm starting your boot sequence. First, you'll want to check your brightness settings. Oh, hey, we actually get to, like, l hear what he said at the beginning. Right then. Oh, this is a cutscene. Let's get started. We'll go <laughs> We're getting a cutscene. Let's start of... by getting the brightness set. <laughs> We're getting a cutscene of the, like... Yeah, it is a cutscene. I don't have control of it. Just press hold to skip. <laughs> we got 31 kg. I wonder why there's nothing. Is this? It says recording. Nothing's happening. It recorded the setup time. So because I spent time talking to chat, presumably, <laughs> it's taking forever. I have been bamboozled by myself. God, I f feel sorry for the people that really mucked about in the settings. Okay. How does this look? Roger that. Oh. But that's also hilarious. This entire process is being recorded for posterity. Of which it literally was. Now let's take a look at your voice recognition settings. Seems your voice recognition is set to mute, which isn't going to work. I'm going to call out to you now. Make sure you can hear my voice. Wait, you shouldn't be able to hear me now. Hilarious. Uh, could you try and pick up the pace a little bit? This is getting all right. <laughs> I like that it actually recorded like how long it took oh. me to select uh, each thing. Thank you. Anyway, that takes care of the settings. <laughs> what the heck? My pulse rate is rising. Why do ro androids have pulses? It seems to be back to normal now. How odd. Hold on. Your self-destruct permissions are missing. Wait a sec. We need to restore those. We need I to be able to you, see your you luxurious ass. Regulations and all, you know. Okay, good. If things go wrong during an op, you may have to sacrifice yourself in order to finish it. So Even though I don't think the self-destruct is really good go for combat. Morning. Is it morning? It's the bunker. Nine S. The commander's put me in charge of your maintenance, ma'am. That means I'll be performing regular checks on We're not meant to on. be saying, ma'am. I see. Oh, don't worry. We nine S models are the best around, you know. Though I suppose we're not exactly known for our modesty. Nine S. Hmm? What is it, ma'am? Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? She There's told no you. To be so formal. Back oh. there. All right. Remember your you soul so? spirit data that totally got uploaded. Oh, I almost forgot. The commander was calling for you. We better go see what's up, ma'am. Er, to be. Now I'm the one in control. It'd be hilarious 
if like it also recorded your movements here. You need to be near an access point to save your data. You can so you have to follow Tubi around, be mucking sure about. <laughs> hey, the test mail! It came in again. Yep, uh, all the various things have been collected. What the hell? I am now the protagonist, ma'am. Two B. No, it's nine S. finished. Yes, Commander. You detonated your black box in order to defeat the enemy. Yes. Bold, but risky. Try not to be so reckless next time. Understood. I know you're fresh out of maintenance, but I have another mission for you. Blow up I the moon. To head to the surface. Rendezvous with the resistance and do some recon. Doesn't Yorha have a dedicated resistance contact already? We haven't been able to get in touch with them, so we'll need you to look into that as well. Understood. <laughs> we can self-destruct in here. Hilarious. The surface? That means we'll be getting flight units, huh? Better head for the hangar. <laughs> Usually we can't get near flight units. They're way too expensive for us grunts. Too bad they can't mass produce these things yet. The hangar's up ahead. Can't mass Let's produce go. these things. There was an entire army against the sea monster. Fly me to the moon. We're never gonna see humanity, are we? Or if we do see humanity, they're gonna be horrific. They're gonna be nightmarish. Hey, 2B. Why do you think they sent a combat model like you to a recon job? If all they want is intel, we scanner models are built for that kind of thing. Orders are orders. All right, all right. It was for the thighs. Oh yeah, I kept for I completely forgot that I had that as a thing. I just never used it after this. That would have been very handy at some point. Get out of here. How dare you laser beam me? That is illegal in 50 states. Bunker to 2B, come in. I've Let me, there, there, there are no the states unit. left. They're all You'll gone. Down quite a ways from the resistance camp, unfortunately. Sorry for the trouble, but we can't risk the enemy discovering their position. Understood. Good luck down there. We can't risk the enemy discovering their position. The enemy found it very fast last time. Now, if we run into any locked boxes, they can be mine now. Phoenix sword? What in the Sam Hell's a Phoenix sword? A great sword made from the plume of a phoenix. Huh. Also realized if I want to upgrade the weapons to their maximum Target again, I'm going to need to go to the Proceed unlock the location. forest kingdom again.
But it'll be interesting to see if, like, all the side quests are available or not. I don't think they would. I think that would be a bit too much padding. Like, hey, do all these quests again. Just skip to where the quests were, if not just... At least the ones that you didn't finish. Then maybe. God, it's actually kind of weird not seeing Ingles there. According to our intel, none of the machines in this area are hostile. We've been seeing more and more. Why are there like just a lately? congregation they here? Just stand there and stare into space. Ah, stand there and stare into space, weird. do they? What the hell? Oh, I want to access com or uh, my inventory. Oh, so it not might not be totally viable for like each like enemy. So his combat style is completely different. He has no heavy attacks. I guess that makes sense. He's he does hacking. Very interesting. Yep, all the locked away treasure and any like uh Like, yeah, the locked away treasure and all those doors. I just need to remember where I got them all. Or, like, where I saw them all. Paper attached the vehicle? Old world data, huh? We never did beat up all of uh, Father Servo. Traffic violation notice. License custody certificate number my A4321. Date and time notification. 2013! This th that truck is ash in dust by this time. No. <laughs> Maihama Police Station Police Constable Kenichi Sato. Interesting. <laughs> Exceeding the speed limit of 30 to 35. Interesting. Let me also check my plug-in chips. It's, yeah, it's basically the same. Very interesting. I was so used to, like, playing as 2B that playing as 9S is gonna... Takes some getting used to. Especially if they expect you to primarily attack with hacking. Hmm, small gear. Hey, I just got here. Why are you angry at me? You all must die. It is the rule of the land. Also kind of funny that we don't get to see the, uh, Result of destruction. That was all here. So this is the resistance camp, huh? We should probably go talk to their leader first thing. No. Hack first thing. 
Oh, type 4 -oh fists. <laughs> like, they're just giving you everything. <clears throat> oh, that's gonna be cool. You're... Me! Number two. Hmm? What? You know about 2B? Um... Yes, well, the bunker told me to expect you. Two. My name is huh. Lemony. I'm the leader of the android resistance that controls most of this territory. You must be the new scouts we heard about. Well, I'm sure my people will have plenty of information for you. Please feel free to ask them anything you like. Uh, looks like we have to do all the quests again! You must be Viora. I heard about what happened. I do in weapons, if you're interested in that type of thing. What kind of weapons? Basically, I rebuild and repair relics from the old world. Although, to be honest, my tools are pretty bad, sad shape now. But if I can get the servicing device and the toolbox up and running, I could start fixing up and selling weapons again. Take a look at it, will ya? That looks busted, alright. You know it. Well, let's help him out. And here I thought that we'd be free, but we're not. That's where I thought I saw, like, a text pop up there. Huh, it even took our sachet away. So basically all the same. Thanks a million. See if broken keys. Then we can just... Give it okay, right back to him. That's everything the supply trader asked for. Apparently, he doesn't want it though. Man, these chores are a real pain in the butt, huh? The resistance is a valuable ally to your hub. By helping them, we also help ourselves. So no, I don't think they're a pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then again, doing quests does give you a lot of money and items. And let me see, because we probably have a decent amount of things that were, like, good for selling at the end. Past all of these chips that we have. So, like, a lot of machine cores from that ending. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is this piece of paper of written info still intact after literally thousands of years? Exactly. Wacko world, ain't it? It's interesting that, like, all the places are still, like, up and accessible to a degree. But now that they are, well, not that place until that's, like, uh, activated, activated, but for the most part. Then we should be able to really quickly do the quests as they pop up. Every weapon has a new moveset and holding down the attack button to get a heavy attack. Kind of what I figured. But it doesn't hurt to have a bit of time. reminding Two there. <laughs> vegetations claim most of it now. Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. Is me. This is 9S. Nothing to report. Weather's sure nice today, though. Nothing to report. Copy that. And mean. no need for a weather report. Operator 210 out. Yeah, I like the fists. Uh, you don't have to be so formal all the time, Operator. Though I kind of like that about you. But we'll have to wait and see, like, just how many of the quests are going to be repeated. And how many of them might be brand new, even. Darn, I was hoping that we could go through.
fine, I'll go a different path. We must find our way. Find our way. This is the place that weapons trader was talking about. What the fuck? Uh -oh. I'm picking up hostile machine life forms. Not expecting you. I mean, I guess I could just hack you to death. But where's the fun in that? He sounds like Link, almost. Get blasted. Just spam heavy attacks. Uh, doesn't seem to hit you too well. Hitting you is kind of difficult. There we go. Because it was a flying machine too close to the ground. Hmm. Let me go to my pod. Ah, oh, they're just not activated. I guess I'll put scanner on. And mirage. Mirage is good. Right, we're getting a lot of uh, late game upgrades at least. Even if we have to run into scary enemies. Huh, not what I was expecting. Need to find it. There you are. The same place that I missed you last time. But I don't think we'll need the scanner. Too much, so I think I'll put the laser on. Cause that should be enough. Let's get these back to the trader and see if we can upgrade my fists. Yeah, because 9s is not as well built for direct combat. Not as much as 2B, because it makes sense he's a scanner. Hi, gimme. <laughs> Where'd you get the beast hide? Already sold out. Let's see. Never did get any black pearls. I did get, like, one... Machine arm, but I don't even know where from. And now I need black pearls for the level two of you. I have a request for you as well. There have been a lot of ports of dangers in the desert. So go beat them up. Doesn't seem to be any other quests, so maybe oh, some of the quests don't pop up just yet, but... Or maybe we need to actually leave to activate things. <laughs> Could be I'm a fool. Well, we're right here, so we should probably save. First things, quick save. Let's see. Save you as well. We'll activate any conversation. Operator to 9S. Transferring coordinate data for the location specified by resistance leader. And we got mail. Nice, operator. You work fast. Mindless chatter drains energy, 9S. 
Please keep your comments reserved for mission related topics. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how, like, their relationship will evolve compared to 6 0 and 2 B. As I forgot to mention prior to your sortie, according to our now steam, the equipment that was lost from breaking into the abandoned factory is still there. But we already have it, so. Interesting. Oh, yeah. It actually isn't put there. Makes me wonder. Then again, we could go there just to get all the extra goodies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go there and save. But uh, then I think we'll end it. Because we've been going for quite a while. Interesting that it sends the same email even though we have the weapon and presumably it's not going to be there, but who knows. Lots of enemies. Get blasted. Get blasted. Get closer so I can blast you more efficiently. A lot of angry dudes up there. Get blasted. Get blasted. I wonder if this is just how 9S remembers everything. He remembers incredibly terrifyingly strong enemies. To then again, that would make kind of sense. He's a scanner, not a fighter, so everything would be kind of scary and super strong from his perspective. Yeah, we'll get to the save point. We'll save here so it'll remind me to excavate all the boxes that we otherwise couldn't open from here, at least for what's available to do so here. Like, was that available? No, it was not. Oh, actually, yeah. Huh. I guess, like, the normal chests. I could have sworn that we did that, though. But other chests... It could be that certain chests that have unique items are not refilled, but generic items ones did, maybe. Or maybe I just never opened that, because I'm a fool. Who knows? And quick save. And that'll be it for now. We beat the first story. We have more story to get to with 9S that will presumably go pretty fast, maybe. And then get to, like, new stuff. Or maybe it'll just be... It'd be kind of funny if it was just the same story, but from 9S's perspective. So it was just like that few segments, but at the same time, we would have to have the super boss hacking boss fight. Oh, actually, yeah. There were actually a decent amount of moments where 9S kind of went off to do a thing and also did a lot of hacking, so that'll actually be interesting. <laughs> but, yeah. Near Automata is fun. We have more to do. Let's see if we can blaze through 9S's story. Because... I think the next game that I'll be playing is maybe Persona 3 Portable. I've kind of been in a wanting to give Persona a chance mood, so we'll have to see if it lasts by the time I beat Nier Automata fully. And then I guess, like, uh, this time around we can do the Slaughter Pascal's Village ending by, of course, saving beforehand. 
I'll be sure to catch you in the next stream. Thank you very much. I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Just trying to bit and keep a schedule. <laughs> F like, uh, not force myself to stream, but keep myself consistent. But, yes, thank you very much for joining me, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree can be found in any description, bio, or link place of the various sites and has links to everything I do. My edited content YouTube channel, my streaming Twitch or streaming YouTube, depending on your preference. And all of these streams are uploaded to the streaming YouTube channel after the fact for quality and, uh, yeah, just quality reasons. Sometimes my internet might just die and... That would be bad, so I would keep the recording local. Yay. Then I also do art, like my little character in the corner. So if you want to see the various arts I create and post online, various sites are linked in there. I do some writing myself, so some places that I upload my writing to can also be found. I also have been trying to upload my writing to my uh, Tumblr as well, where I also upload art. So just, yeah, lots of creative endeavors. <laughs> And then uh, my Patreon is also linked in the link tree for the supremely kind. And, of course, the link tree is linktr.ee slash neonicywings. <laughs> but, yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember to be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.